Well, good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing? Hello, Hallis. Ari over on the YouTube side. Genie girl. Uh, Lord, how you doing today? <clears throat> yes, I took a couple days off. I had a really rough day on, uh... What the heck's going on? Okay, that's really weird. Um, why are things all messed up right now? Hold on a second. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of weird things happening today. What is happening with my camera? There we go. There's the camera. Okay, I have a bunch of weird stuff going on today. My Steam Deck's not working. Okay, there we are. Hey, there we are. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, yeah, my system caught a virus. Uh, I, I sort of overdid it at the gym, um, and I was really hurting on Friday, so I took Friday off, and then Saturday was such a nice day out here, it was, it got up to 74 on Saturday, um, that, um, my friend invited me to take a trip with her down, down the gorge, and so we went down to Hood River and had a lot of fun, and, uh, and that was that, <laughs> so, uh, you know. Yeah, it was it's 74 centigrade. No, 74 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that translates into centigrade with, but... So I went down, took a little trip yesterday. Now we're back. We got Long Dark today. We got Subnautica this afternoon. Um, maybe one of our last Subnauticas. I don't know how far we're going to get, but we're pretty close to the end. But good morning, Teresa. How you doing? Underhill, hello, hello. We are on... We are playing Interloper. We are currently... Currently, we are 467 days in. This is our mapping run. We have mapped up every zone in the game except for Black Rock and Zone of Contamination and just a little tiny bit of Ash Canyon. We are almost done with Ash Canyon as well. So, we are this close to being done with Ash Canyon. Currently, we are right now in the Stone Shelf Cave here. We need to go out of here and climb up a couple ropes and get this stuff mapped up here by the climber's cave. And then we need to we need to map a little bit down here as well. Uh, <laughs> who wants to go to Black Rock anyways? Not me especially, but, you know, we're going to map them all up, Genie Girl, so we're going to do it. But yes, this is our map of Ash Canyon. We also have Timberwolf Mountain all nicely mapped up. We've got Pleasant Valley, a very beautiful map there. Winding River, uh, Forlorn Muskeg. We got Mystery Lake. There's the ravine. We even got the three caves in the ravine finally, which was nice. We got all Coastal Highway mapped up. We got all of Crumbling Highway mapped up. I think we got the caves there too. Yes, we got the caves there. We got all Desolation Point mapped up. Nice and beautiful. Forsaken Airfield. We have it almost mapped. We got this one tiny little spot here that we need to map, but it's 98% mapped. And then we got Transfer Pass and... The Far Range Branch Line, as good as we can get them. Broken Railroad, as good as we can get it. We got all the points of interest. That's the that's the important thing. All the different caves and the different structures. We got all of Hush River Valley, which is actually a really nice map. Mapped up really good. And uh, we got all of Mountain Town as well. And we got all of Bleak Inlet, too. Bleak Inlet was a good one. It was a fun one to map. Um, and that brings us back to Ash Canyon, where we're at right now. And it is, uh, it's almost morning time. It's almost morning time. Hello, Hyundai. How you doing? But, uh, yeah, we're, it's, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty darn good. Okay, we got, we got some charcoal on us. Good deal. Let's grab our bedroll, because we don't really need that down now. We've got lots of food out here. We got moose meat. Lots of moose meat. And then we got some cooked moose meat here. That's fresh. This stuff is the ruined moose meat. We're going to eat that first. Yum, yum. We actually finally got another burdock, so we were able to make a prepper's pie, which is awesome. Prepper's pie gives you a 25 health increase, which is just amazing. It is amazing. Because my hat, I got, yeah, I have my, my wonderful hat. My biggest mistake in this game, I forget to pick up my bedroll half the time. <laughs> yeah, you got to remember to do that. Yeah, prepper's pie is the magical food. What do you think you'll be doing once Subnautica's done? Most likely already said it or planned it, but still cares. Uh, we'll be going back. Well, on Sundays, once Subnautica's done, Genie Girl, we're going to be going back. 
So once Subnautica is done, uh, later this month, on the 21st, I believe it is, they are porting over Horizon Forbidden West to PC. Now, I've played Horizon Zero Dawn before, and I love the game. I, I, I thought it was an amazing... I, killing robot dinosaurs is just so much fun. Um, and it had a great story, great, great protagonist. It was a good story. It was a good game all, just all around. So I'm going to be playing Horizon Forbidden West uh, uh, instead and uh, having fun with that because I, I really, really liked Horizon Forbidden West or Horizon Zero Dawn. So we'll be doing Horizon Forbidden West uh, after, after the, uh, after uh, we get done with our Subnautica run. And it should, it should, it should match up pretty good because, uh, because uh, we'll be we'll be just finishing up with uh, Subnautica about that time. So, because <clears throat> let's see, this Sunday is do 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 do. Yeah, the, yeah. Because I'll be gone this next Sunday. This next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, and twenty fourth is my game convention. Um, and uh, so I'll be doing I'll be at my game convention uh, this coming up uh, weekend. And then I'll be back on Monday. Um, so hopefully we'll finish up Subnautica this weekend. And then I'll be able to actually get in with the Forbidden West. And we'll be going from there. All right. So I need to go and climb up over in this area. So let's, let's, let's do that. Let's go, boys and girls. We got some climbing and some mapping to do. But welcome back, everybody. Good to have you all here. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for understanding the need for breaks every once in a while. I, I, I physically just, I physically did too much at the gym. I kind of overworked myself. I was, I was excited to get it going, and I kind of overdid it at the gym. And uh, I kind of hurt myself a little bit. I had a lot of aches and pains on Friday. <laughs> to where I to where to where this arm I could I could I could get this arm about in that position if I got it much further beyond that it was really painful it's still when I extended fully I have a little bit of tenderness but I just I just did too much <laughs> I just was ready to pump it up and I pumped it up a little bit too much Ooh, there's birch up here. Oh wow. There's actual birch up here. Your brain is 20, your body is not. Yeah, my body is definitely not zombie vamp. <clears throat> but you know, I'm just I'm gonna I, I it, it was a good lesson to learn, and I'll be taking it more easy now. And just kinda, you know. I'll be I'll be working out slowly but surely over time. I just, I just was so excited to start doing it again that I just kind of overdid it. <clears throat> There's something over here. I think there might be. There's some rose hips over here. But then my friend called yesterday and she was like, hey, let's go on a drive. It's going to be beautiful today. And I was like, that sounds like a great idea. Oops, we're a little heavy. Let's eat. <laughs> we ate our we ate our way into being underweight. Oh, if only you could do that in real life. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, you cannot eat your way into into, into being underweight. Oh, thank you, Hals, for the poster check. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't eat your way into being underweight in real life. But yeah, I, I really I'm excited to play Horizon Forbidden West when it comes out. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Um, actually, this rope we probably need to map up. Oh no, that rope is right there. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ! Me. Oh God, there's no wolves up here either. Good Lord. You're evil for putting that out. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for the ducky hug there. Something's gotta go. 
So there's that. There's the runaway bridge there. <clears throat> That's leading off this direction, okay? Okay, so we found the runaway bridge. I thought there was a way to get to that other side, too. This week, I, I is uh, this week is I do not care about diet week. Normally, it's just the weekend, but being eight pounds uh, underweight is is whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> oh Jesus, criminy! I wish I was eight pounds underweight. I'm about I'm about twenty pounds overweight right now, so. Ah, uh, here we go. Here, 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 here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, actually, you know what? Let's build a little fire here and get warmed up real quick. <clears throat> Let's build a little fire. There we go. We'll get a little fire going. We're gonna get warmed up. Come Spring on. is coming garden workout. Yeah, see, I, I live in an apartment, so I don't have the luxury of a garden, per se. <clears throat> I don't have that luxurious, luxurious garden to do things in. Although I can't go over and help my friend in her garden, so <clears throat> I could do that, I suppose. All right, I'm just gonna leave that going here. Hey, that stick just disappeared right in front of me. Rude. Double sticks. Okay, there's something over here. dead dude over here <clears throat> I'm a wizard now you're a wizard now there's a dead dude all right so there's that dead dude right there good news is we have this fire going over here i would imagine on like stalker pilgrim voyager probably that has st that body has stuff on it on this difficulty not so much or if it had something it may be just it may be decayed already I'm gonna have something behind. <laughs> yo wizard eh there a little cheery fire still going here it warm us up a little bit. Don't slip. No, I'm not going to slip. Not going to slip. What, what could be better than helping in your friend's garden? Not a whole lot. There we go. Got ourselves nicely warmed up. Um, you know what I could do? I think I have enough to make a prepared rose hip. Yep. Let's make a rose hip up. We'll we'll cook ourselves a tea real quick. Oh, and then it, it blows my fire out too. That's lovely. That is lovely. Well, we took that we chose the right moment to do that. That actually was that actually worked out really well for us. Okay. <clears throat> Get across this bridge here. Walking into the wind, of course. Because that's how everything works better. Janelle, how you doing? I'm doing a lot better today. I I'm not feeling the pain. Well, as much of the pain of I, I, I kind of overdid it working out a little bit. <clears throat> I pumped it up a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better there. And um, 
and I had a nice day with my friend yesterday. We went out, we went out and did some driving, and uh, took a little trip. Took a little trip down to Hood River. It was quite nice. I'm gonna get get in a sheltered area here. There we go. <clears throat> Mappity boo there. Oh, that look at look how beautiful that worked out. Yes. And I see a maple over here too. I'm gonna get that maple in, and then there's a rope climb over here as well. It looks like. Actually, you know what? We have one more warm tea on us. I'm gonna drink that down real quick and just get back some of our warmth. There we go. See how that actually upped up my warmth as well. My over my overall warmth. It actually gave me back sure some warmth. Carry much more. Glad to hear I overdid on yard work yesterday. The past few days have been glorious. Now it's hurting. Yeah, the past few days have been absolutely beautiful here too. So, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be a high of 71 today outside. So, a little spring has a little spring has sprung. So I don't have a rope for this uh, this climb here, but this takes us down into the basin over here. That takes us down to this basin. I am gonna map this just because. <clears throat> just because I want to. There we go. So that's that climb there. See, there's a supply cache up here. That supply cache is actually something that during an Aurora would be available to us. But it's not because we, we don't have an Aurora going right now. It's so gray and dark. Another month or two of winter here. Oh, no, Underhill. Well, it'll happen soon enough for you, my friend. <clears throat> soon enough, you'll get some good weather. All right, there's the maple there. Vertigo Canyon, yes. It, 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 it definitely is Vertigo Canyon. Unfortunately, I left all my, uh, <clears throat> my, uh, uh, my, my weight pies, I left those all down in the, down in the valley, unfortunately, down by the fishing hut. Good God, I have like a frog in my throat or something this morning. It keeps bothering me. Hold on a second. <sighs> okay, that'll hopefully help a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I need to lose about a kilo of weight. <clears throat> need to get a little rest and lose a little weight. Be okie dokie. Finally got Detroit become human. <clears throat> See, there it is. Maybe I can play it this time since I got a new GPU. Nice. Panthos, Detroit Become Human is an amazing game. Have a lot of fun with it, my friend. It is it is such a great game. I was hoping there'd be a little spot here that would be kind of like protected. Ooh, what about this back here? No? You won't let me build a fire back here. Let me build one, like, right in there, but that's not a really good spot. I think the best spot still is the place I found over here first. Now we gotta climb down from this. Eating frogs would stop... Yeah, that would help. That, that would indeed help. Can we get a Maglin's fire? No. Yeah, stop eating frogs... That would probably be a big, that'd be a big benefit to me. <clears throat> All right, let's get a little fire going here again. 69 sticks, dude. 69, dudes. All right. So we got that pretty well mapped up. Now we just got to get down here and get these mapped up. Get this area down here mapped up. And then get this over here mapped up. It's totally the right idea. Ew. <clears throat> How you doing, Mr. Pyro Ninja? How's it going? 
It's okay, I got all kinds of plants coming up from seeds inside. Oh, nice, so you're, you actually got, oh, geez Louise, man. You actually, you actually got like a, like a whole garden going on inside already. That's awesome. My mom does that. She'll have like her old dining room table just be seeds. And there goes my fire. All right, we're light enough now, so let's go. Ooh, that wind noise. <clears throat> we're light enough, so let's get going. All we need to do is get enough energy and, and, and lose some weight to climb down the mountaineering rope here. That's all we needed. And that was achieved. I'm gonna get rid of some energy here real quick. Get myself nice and tuckered out. Gen X Gaming Girl with a 17 rope climbing months. Thank you, Gen X Gaming Girl, for the 17. Look at that beautiful 17 months there. Oh, I can't, my, my Steam Deck is broken. Sorry about that. There we go, I can do it the old-fashioned way. Well, that was weird. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> Hey, Gary. Hello, hello. We got Long Dark this morning. We got some Subnautica this afternoon. Might be our last day of Subnautica. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see how it goes. We're getting close to the end of Subnautica. I don't know if we'll be able to get through the rest of it today or not. We'll see. It's snowing a lot, yes. There's a lot of snow on the ground right now. Lots and lots of snow coming down. <clears throat> Thank goodness I know where I'm going. And I have landmarks, like my little fire here, where I killed the moose. Stellaris will be tomorrow. We'll be doing some Stellaris tomorrow. Yep, Mon Mondays are Stellaris Day. Time to get in the cave. You'll be there with bells on. Nice. I hope you're. I hope you're having fun with Stellaris still. All right, let's drop the meat here. There we go. Woo! It's a cold little puppy dog. Even even inside even inside the cave with all of our stuff, we're still only at positive nine. It's cold even in this cave. let alone outside of the cave, where it's really cold. Luckily, with our bedroll and all of our clothing, we should be fine. <clears throat> I am, and my wife still hates you. Just kidding. <laughs> she finds the game boring because there's no animated GUI. <laughs> well, you get, to, you, get to, you get to see that. You get to see the, you know, if you slow it down to speed one, you get to see all the space battles. You can zoom in on them. And those look pretty dang cool. All right, we got we got some. Uh, we need to make some fire and make some water. We have no water here, so let's get let's get a little fire going. 
Hello, Mr. Fire. How would you like to get lit up here, buddy? Uh, let's yeah, let's use, use the one that has four matches. Four matches. But yeah, I'm excited to play getting back into our Stellaris. We are, we are just a little past the midway point in the game, from what I remember. Just past the midpoint, so we've got we've got a lot of exciting years still ahead of us in Stellaris. Oh, don't worry about it. You cannot. We can talk about whatever you want, my friend. Ah, oh, I'm not hijacking the channel today. You're playing Long Dark. Uh, my wife and I are going to be playing at the rest of the day. I let her drive, and then I just kill stuff that attacks. Uh, going to attack her. It's okay. She likes. It's a good day. She likes Long Dark. Nice. So, so what? What? Uh, what game are you and your wife going to be playing today, Gary? What? What? Uh, what game are you guys uh, uh, playing today? That you get to drive and she just gets to kill stuff. <laughs> See, I, that that makes me think like State of Decay 2, where you guys can play together and she could like just drive around and you can just kill things all day long. But you can hijack the channel whenever you want, man. There's no hijacking. I, th I think I had to restart so we're like day seven. She welcomed our last game of 200 days in the long dark. Oh, nice! All right, let's get that done and get some water here. There we go. Get a little more water. All right, we still got two hours on the fire. That'll be perfect. That's actually about four hours on the fire. Because our, our our fires are lasting so much longer. Oh, wait a second. Am I cold? I'm cold out there. Interesting. Let's get a little more water going. If I can drop any of this gear. Oh, shush by. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna add one. I'm add one more stick, just to make sure we make it through. I, I think we would anyway. There we go. Perfect. Yum yum, and we have 11 liters of water on us now, which is fantastic. We'll leave some of that water back here. two liters. How much uh, charcoal do I have? Let's grab a little more. There we go. Hey, Duke! With a 46 month resub! Thank you, Duke, for that 46 beautiful beautiful months there. Oh, and of course my, 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 for whatever reason, my, uh, stream, my stream deck is not working today. So we'll just do it manually. Thank you so much. Shoot any bears lately? Uh, not lately, no. I have not shot any bears lately. Uh, they've been, they've been rather, uh, there's only one bear in this zone, so there's not a lot of bears to shoot, period. But I haven't shot any lately now. What's the plan now? Okay, so the plan now, since we climbed up that little area there and got the runaway bridge in that area un uncovered, is we're going to go down here. We're going to go down here. We're going to sort of map up along this side of the wall down to this uh, cave, which is the cave to Timberwolf Mountain. And then we're going to work our way up here to Climber's Cave, and we're going to map around this area here. And uh, down here, we should get the Pillar's Footrest. I think we only have one actual surveyed location in the game under the uh, the official stuff, and that is Pillar's Footrest, which is down that direction. Then we'll have every 
every single zone completely mapped as far as like the requirements for faithful cartographer that doesn't include the new zones or black rock but or uh yeah or black in the black rock prison area but we're doing it just because yeah we still got a little bit of stuff to do still have a little bit of stuff to do uh valor with the 66 66 Thank you, Valor, for that 66 month free sub there. Thank you, my friend, for that 66 month. There we go. Thank you so very much for the 66 there. I know. <laughs> Three more to be legend. You're already a legend, Valor. You're already a legend, man. For those of you who don't know, Valor is our DM for our uh, bi-weekly D&D game that we do on the channel. Uh, along with Games Lift, Hawkeye, Alicia, Panasaurus, Rex. Uh, he, uh, he, does the, he does the GM duties. And uh, we're, we've been having a lot of fun with that. That is uh, the uh, the newest installment is up on the YouTube side. Unfortunately, with the way things are set up, I've, I've only been able to get it streaming on the Twitch side so far. Uh, so that is what it is. But the episode is up on YouTube if you are curious to check it out. See us messing around with some D&D. It's a lot of fun. Um, did you ask Hawkeye about Fishing Planet? I did not ask Hawkeye about that. No, I totally forgot. <laughs> I, t I totally forgot, Gary. That that is on that is on me. But I also have the the my, the the memory of like a guppy. So, but nope, I totally forgot about that, bud. I know it is, but look at all this birch bark we're finding, bro. Look at all the bread. Will, Will, look at all the birch bark. Look, look at the birch bark, buddy. You see all this birch bark? That's health. That's your life. Every two of those that you pick up is more life for you, man. So just, just deal with it. I need to drop something. No. No. You're going to have to stop and watch DD so you can ask out loud. <laughs> Dun 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 So cold. Yeah, usually with our D D session, um Usually with our D D session we we uh, don't talk a lot to the I don't really we don't really talk to the audience much during our play, but we do take about a break at about the two hour mark and then kinda catch up on chat, say hi to people, thank them for subs, all that sort of stuff. So it usually is one of those things where while we're playing, we kind of uh, we kind of uh, don't break the immersion, for for you know for reasons, and then we'll kind of take a little break at, at after a two hour mark, and we'll answer questions, we'll talk to people a little bit. So that would be a perfect time. We start usually at one one p.m. on Thursdays uh, when we're doing. I don't think we're going to be doing it till the fourth of April now because Gameslift is is a uh, traveling here soon. Um, the Gameslift is traveling and going to. Uh, Going to England. What is down here? What is down there? I don't even know what's down there, to be honest. Oh, that's right down. That's right down above the cave. Interesting. Interesting. I don't want to go down there, though. One thing about this side of the map is, like, this side of the map over here has no wolves at all. I mean, you don't even have you don't even have to travel with a bow out. You don't even need to travel with the bow out. You can just like walk along and pick up sticks, and there's nothing there's nothing over here that'll attack you or eat you, or there's nothing even really to eat over here. That's 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 the downside. 
Because there's nothing really even to eat over here, so. I wonder if I can get up here. I, I don't know if I don't know if I've ever been up to this point. Yeah, there's no yeah, there's no wolves but no caves either, yeah. It's kind of a cold, desolate area. Huh. Is there a way to get across this? No. I, I was just I was wondering. I was just like, I wonder if I I wonder if I can do anything over here. What's the temp right now? Negative eleven. No maglins. We just need to have a few things. Hey Dribblewood, how you doing? Hello, hello. Over on the YouTube side. I see you. And thanks for thanks, Papa Gamer, for the a follow there. I appreciate that. Let's get some sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That should get us warm enough. Yep, that should get us warm enough. Just fine. Fine and dandy. Uh let's go ahead and map here just to just to say we did it. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's Pillar's Footrest right there. Well that this was a good map. This was a very good map because it got that whole area like uncovered. I'm glad we did that. Now let's get a, uh, now let's just get, let's just rest for an hour. Okay. Let's go ahead and prepare ourselves a, a hot toddy. Actually, we'll get two hot toddies going on. There we go. And get that going on. We'll get two of the mushrooms going on. Cheers, Papa Gamer. I hope you're having a good one, my friend. We are almost done with uh, mapping up here in uh, Ash Canyon. Or as we like to affectionately call it, Ash Canyon. It's my canyon. Nobody else's, it's mine. It's mine, all mine. I claim it. First come, first serve. But we are, uh, we are getting very close. Whoa! I think, we, I think we actually finally got our final... Yep, we have 215 of 215 surveyed locations now. We've got all of them done. We finally got we finally got Pillar's Footrest, which is what we were what we were aiming for. I am having a great weekend. I took a couple days off. I was I was really sore, really sore from working out yesterday or on Friday. Um and um so I took Friday off and then my friend called me up on Saturday and she actually she actually just texted me, but she called me up on Saturday and was like, hey, do you want to go take a drive somewhere? And I was like, you know, that sounds like a lot of fun. And it was like 74 degrees out yesterday. It was amazing. Um, there we go. I need to message her back here really quick. Hold on one second. All right, just a quick message back. All righty, I thought spring was coming along, but weather forecast says ele negative 11. Negative 11, what? Today it's supposed to be, let's see. So for the weather for this week here in the Portland area, it's supposed to be 70 today, 73 tomorrow, 70 Tuesday, but then Wednesday, Thursday starts getting cloudy and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it looks like a little bit of cloud and rain. Boo. Boo and hiss. <laughs> oh, well, that's what makes Oregon beautiful and green, so. That's what gives us the beautiful greenery that we got. I hereby declare this canyon to be owned and fully operated by Athena. All wolves and bears are hereby evicted. Oh, no, I don't want them, I don't want them evicted. I like, I like the wolves and bears. They make me happy. Portland, Washington, it rains all the time. Well, it, it does rain quite a bit here, yes. It does. I need some dinner. 
Dang it, I just missed. There we go. Oh, there's another one right there. Boom, buddy, bang. Let's get some, let's get some rabbit meat. Yum, yum. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Get in my belly. Actually, you know what? Let's go, let's go up. Let's go up. Right, right now, the, the cave, this cave is right over here. The cave, the cave to the, uh, to a Timberwolf Mountain is right over there. But we're gonna actually go up and go over to the climber's, uh, the climber's cave instead. Because why not? Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, yep, yep, yep. It's a, it's a wee bit colder there, isn't it, Triple Wood? <laughs> wee bit on the colder side. Yeah, I learned a valuable lesson this this last week, and that's not don't don't work out too vigorously when you're just getting back into it. I took I took a little I, I went a little bit overboard because I was so excited about it, and then I paid for it on Friday. So uh, yeah, it was like yeah no, don't do that. Ease into it a little more ease a little more uh, 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 softly. Um, okay, actually, no, I need to go up this way. Do we need Ash Canyon mapping for the cartographer? Yes. Ash Canyon is actually part of the cartographer. Uh, thank you, Duke, for the poster check, by the way. Yeah, Ash Canyon is actually part of it. If you look in here, um, the, uh, on the, uh, surveyed locations, Ash Canyon, there's 20 places in Ash Canyon that you actually need for faithful cartographer now. The zones you don't need for Faithful Cartographer are the Black Rock Zone and the New Zones. Um, all the others pretty much have uh, have stuff that you have to get for Cartographer. So yeah, you do ha you do have to get Black Rock, or uh, uh, the, you do have to get this zone. I'm afraid to say. I, I, I'm I'm sad to say. This is actually a nice little spot down here. I wonder if this I wonder if this could get blown out down in here. That's kind of wild. Record this winter is negative 43 degrees Celsius up north. Wow. Folks our age group have to be careful of the first workout back syndrome. Yes. Oh, have I not been up here? Have I have I not have I not been up here? I guess not. I guess I never came up here before. That is interesting. Yeah, because there's mushrooms, there's rose hips. Um, the birch bark, of course, respawns, so that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. But interesting. Okay. Lots of birch bark up here. Wow. Okay. I will take it. Thank you, and thank you. What day are we on right now here in Narwhal? We are on day 400 and... 470. And we are like, we are like right in here. I need to, I need to possibly map this up real quick. All right, that's where we're... Oh, nice. That gave us a nice little map there, too. Beautiful. Liking it. Loving it. Loved it. Hated it. Eat some food. Drink some water. We got two rabbits to harvest up as well. What's our hypothermia looking like? Not that bad. Okay. Okay. No, you don't. You're fine. You are beautiful. Okay, that got rid of a bunch of that. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I can't believe I. I guess I've never come up this way on this map before. What happens at day 500? Are we going forward? Um, yeah, we probably will. 
I'd love to see. I'd love to see. A, a, I'd love to actually get a character to thousand days. We might, you know, once we get to, once we get all the mapping done, we'll have to make a decision then. Because I, I, I got signal void to finish up, and then I need to get the, uh, then I need to get the, um, the other, uh, the other thing. The what's it called? Buried echoes. Ugh, I couldn't remember. Buried echoes. I need to get buried echoes done too. So we got to get those done, and then we'll be ready to uh, to go. Then we'll be ready to see what we want to do after that. Surprisingly, this is actually a pretty warm cave in here. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest Mr. Rabbits up. Using nothing but our hands. I want to make some rabbit pies, I think, while I'm here. I left my other rabbit pie down down there buried echoes is zone of contamination exclusive yes buried echoes only takes place in zone of contamination so we, we're gonna we're gonna do a sort of we're gonna be doing the quest and mapping zone of contamination all at the same time There we go. Oh, wait. Did we leave ourselves pies here? <laughs> we left ourselves a venison pie here. That is hilarious. I probably didn't even mean to do that. Probably just, probably just happy coincidence that it was left here. All right, can I, do I have, yep. Let's go ahead and drink a couple of these. Because we got, we got water we can consume. And if we drink the birch bark teas, there's six more health. And here's 12 more health that we'll get back tonight. Because you get six for every, you get six for every tea that you can consume. Actually, we won't get it fully back on that. But that's okay. We'll get a bunch of health back tonight for those, and then we'll drink some teas in the morning and get the rest of our health back while we cook up the rabbits and cook up the uh, ptarmigans that we're going to get, too. Let's get that down. Drink another tea. And the main reason I'm just being liberal on drinking those is I, I have six more teas I can make right now. Six more birch... Six more birch bark teas that I'm going to be able to make very soon. So it's like we might as well drink our teas up and 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 get as much health back as we can. There we go. Yum yum. All right, let's go ahead and. Where's my fire here? I know there's a fire. There's a there's a campfire. Let's get this campfire going with our 64 sticks. We'll make a little water here, and then we're also going to get a little bit of the birch bark teas cooked up. And we'll cook up our meats as well. Oh, that's so weird. There's like two campfires here. That was so weird. <laughs> there was two campfires. I was like, what the hell is going on? Strange. Okay. First of all, let's get some water going here. Let's get a little bit of let's get a little bit of uh, of rabbit pie going here. Yeah, I was like, it, I, I was like, which side am I supposed to use here? That's really awkward. Awkward. We'll eat that down. Then we got all these other rabbit meats we can cook up. I think that took us down to 
Yeah, we we only have a little bit of little bit of flour left. Yeah, it's like double fire update. Let's see, do I have anything else to prepare? Yep, I got mushrooms I can prepare. Yeah, we'll get all the stuff prepared up while our stuff cooks. And I've got rose hip I can prepare. I'll do that because that should that should get these pies done. Yep, there we go. And water's almost done. Beautiful. And then we can cook up this uh, nice rabbit meat that we have. Eat that down. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that rabbit meat cooked up here. Let's get a birch bark tea cooked up there. Perfect. Then we'll get some water going. I hear you, Tarmigans. I hear you. I hear you. Woo! Hey, Redacted, thank you for the 14-month membership over on the YouTube side. Day 400... Uh, 5,000... Uh, 4,512 of silence from Hinterland. On the renaming of Ath Ash Canyon to Ath Canyon. I know, it's very frustrating, isn't it? Keep forgetting you don't these guys for whatever reason you don't need any elevation on them. It's so weird. It's like every other animal you have to use elevation on. The firing of the, the shooting of the uh ptarmigans is a very odd thing. Alright, that's a little bit there. Excellent. There's lots of ptarmigans up here, by the way. Yeah, there's a whole nother bunch right over here. Oh, there's a deer over here, too. The deer boy over here. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to come get him. Because I need another deer hide to fix my stuff. But thank you so much, uh, Redacted, for that 14-month membership. Stewie, how you doing, buddy? I'm, do I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Go, go closer to my house. That sounds like a good idea. Got him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I got hypothermia coming on. And we got a couple more rabbits, so, you know, that's always fun. <clears throat> the Climber's Cave is not actually a bad place to be. There's lots of ptarmigans around. There's lots of rabbits. You can kind of you can kind of live here for a couple of days, and it's all outdoors, which makes it really super nice. Too heavy. Go ahead and get a little bit of ptarmigan meat here. I am going to use my tool so I so I get the maximum amount of meat. Not a, it's not a lot less with your hands, but it's a little bit less. And I want all the meat I can get. Yum, yum. 
Hey, I'm Blur. It's going good, my friends. Going well. There we go. So we got 33 minutes. I'll just do, I'll just do it with my hands. I, I, I forgot I don't have my... I don't have my easy to repair tools. We're gonna have to repair our knife and our hatchet when we get to Blackrock. That's gonna be something we're gonna need to do immediately is get is get in is get in there and repair those. But uh blur doing good. I I I, I was feeling very I, I overdid it on my workout. And uh, oh thank you so much, Tylea, for the 16 month bear level membership over on the YouTube side. Appreciate that very, very much. Hope you're having a wonderful day, my dear. Thank you for that 16 months over on the YouTube side. All right, we got some time now. Let's go ahead and get the uh, go ahead and get the meat out of the rabbit here. Woo! Let's go. Thank you to all the members over on YouTube, by the way. Our our ongoing series for members only, well, the ongoing series that has members to get exclusive, like, early access to it, is our, um, is our uh, Witcher 3 series, which we have going over there on the YouTube side. New episodes going up daily for that. We're up to about episode 130-ish or so, 130, 140. And then those are slowly being released, back released for everybody else, and I think we're up to episode almost 80 at this point for everybody else, so... I'm gonna put some water in there. Get some uh, broth, some more broth made. And I've been having a lot of fun with, with with Witcher 3. It's the first time I've ever actually played through the whole game. I've never actually played through all of Witcher 3 before, so so that's really super cool to do. Venus Vicious with the 37, just over three years. Thank you, Venus Vicious, for the 37 month on Twitch. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it very much. I, you know, Joshua, I've been having a lot of fun with it. The Muse Vicious just resubscribed for 37 months. And 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 uh, so, if you're watching it on the non-member side, it's about. I'm about, it's about halfway, I mean, we got 70-some episodes out on the non-member side. On the member side, we have over 130 episodes out. So, we, we're quite a, fur, a ways further along on the member side. So, all the episodes coming out on the non-member side are definitely, those were recorded months ago. Um, but it's been a lot of fun playing it. I've really, I've really been enjoying it. Oh, Melanie Max just subscribed. Oh, thank you so much, Melanie. Thank you so much for the for the sub there, Melanie. I appreciate that. a tier one sub to Melanie Mac. Oh, thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a tier one sub to Melanie Mac. Is that Melanie Mac from YouTube? Is that the Melanie Mac that's on YouTube? Who's like really into uh, it? Really into uh, um. Really into the uh, uh, Tomb Raider stuff? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I I don't know. I mean, I, I I like her stuff. I think she. I think she's. I think she's got some good points. So I yeah, I love her too. If that is her, hi Melanie. I know. I know that was a gifted sub to you, but hi. <laughs> love your stuff over on YouTube, Melanie. All right, let's get some food in our belly. Pan fried dinner, yep. Some pan fried dinners. This is more just to get our to get us some food here, so we we aren't like we aren't like suffering too much. All right, get that in there. Let's get the get. Let's get all these. Uh, Get all the birch barks done up. And get a few of those done up. 
Long Dark New Cooking Part 2 Brownies and Cupcakes. Yum! I want some Long Dark Brownies and Cupcakes. That sounds delicious. Alright, we're going to drink down a hot tea. Grab that. Pick that up and that up. Move all those to the container. There we go. Do wolves ever come up here? They do not. Triplewood, thank you for becoming a member at the wolf pack level on the YouTube side for 12 months. One year, Triplewood. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Triplewood, for that one year membership there. I appreciate that, my friend. Very kind of you. Thank you for the support. Uh, wolves never come up in this area. Basically, all the wolves in this zone are down here in the Bitter Marsh area. There's some here around Angler's Den. And there is a few of them that are up above here by the Long Falls. That's and, and, and some of these from Angler's Den can sneak over into the into this area here. They can they can be down like over over they can come through towards the stone shelf. Like they can come under here if they smell you but they normally don't come over there unless unless they have a, unless you have smell on you they usually hang out down here in this area right by angler's den and then there's a few of them that hang out right in here there's a little path that goes up here and there's some that hang out right in here but there's none that hang out on this side or up here on the climber's cave area or or even over on this side up here in miner's folly that's where the bear is and then this area over here with Homesteader's Respite and this whole area up in here, there's no there's no wolves that hang out there either. So uh, this this cave is 100% safe. One million percent safe from, uh, from Wolfie Boys. So yeah, th this zone uh, has is very split on what is safe and what is not safe um I, I wish i wish they had a little more I, I don't know i wish they i wish they had a little more stuff is it safe from werewolves in the night with fangs no that it's not safe from so you got to be very careful of those werewolves is not at night the werewolves at night the werewolves of london it's never safe from Ow, werewolves of london Thinking if they did add cupcakes and brownies to the game, they'd be they become the hardest thing to make, but the most broken things ever. Probably, they'd be really hard to make, but they'd be broken as heck. You're probably right, genie girl. They probably would be very broken. All right, let's drop the uh, hides and the guts. There we go. Let's make up, uh, let's get the uh, rose hip prepared up. One thing about Le Werewolves of London, they, their hair is perfect. Hey, you know, it's it's all about the style, Zylock. It has nothing to do with the actual, like, you know, whether they're good guys, bad guys, you know, it's all about, it's all about style. Just like anything else in life, it's all style, man. Gotta go for the style points. Mrs. Honeypot, hello, darling. How are you? Hi, hi. With a sugar high, that would give you some stamina back. <laughs> Chocolate. Hey, Tylea, how you doing? Hope you're doing well, my dear. Things are going good for you. Gonna eat down our meat. Drink down some water. Get ourselves a little rest. We got a little bit, we got a little bit more, uh, Right here in the climber's cave, we got a little bit more mapping. We got to go over here and map. We got to go up over in this direction. And we got a rope over here that we'll need to climb to map a little bit as well. Yeah, it's still a bit sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Brownies make it so you just cannot die. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know how I feel about something. It just makes it so you just can't die at all. That seems wrong somehow. I'm okay waiting for my lamb stew to cook. Yum. Yummy. 
Lamb, lamb stew is always, always, always good. Any kind of stew. I love, I love all kinds of stews when it comes right down to it. Stews are probably my favorite. I mean, I, lo I love the look of your cottage pie. If, if you guys want to see some of the delicious stuff that Mrs. Honeypot makes, go over to the Discord channel, go into the food area, and if you don't leave, if you don't leave five pounds heavier from the food area, you haven't perused it enough. Because you'll see things like Faith's bread pudding, Othan's delicious uh, 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 sandwiches, Yum. That actually, that healthy dinner you made actually looks really good. Although the chewy flapjacks with cranberries and currants looked even better. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yeah, uh, her bread, uh, face bread pudding with rum sauce and whipped cream looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's just too much. There's, there's too much good, there's too much goodness. Too much yummy goodness up over there. But yeah, go check go check out the Discord. Go go uh go see all the beautiful pictures of food that everybody puts up. It'll it'll make it'll make you a little bit on the hu the hungry side. Um, I'm gonna come back here, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go out like this. Um, actually, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back here. We got 38 kilos. Let's go. Let's go over here and see what we can do map wise. Ow! Those werewolves of London. Oh, I have that deer over there that I need to harvest, too. I wish I could get up there somehow, but I don't think I can. Let's just kind of come up here and just kind of map as high as we can get. I mean, that's not very high, but it's higher than we were. Okay, that's more there. I need to map more by the cave. I made it through another night. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I can get up. I know, buddy. Yeah, I don't know if I I don't know if I can get that area up there, which makes me kind of sad. Cool if we could. Maybe we can go around the back. Maybe we can go around the back and get up there. But let's go inside and get warmed up first. I just don't want to lose health. As well, I don't want to lose much health. When the werewolf appears, he has a Chinese menu in his hand. <laughs> Is that because he's hungry? And he wants to get some good Chinese food? Because I can always go for some good Chinese food. Yum, yum. We might be able to get up to a little area up there. I don't know. I think I'm going to try up on that, that little cliff first. Then we'll see. Then we'll see how high we can get over there. We going high. We going high. Wow! Look at look at that sunrise. Oh, this calls for a Hadrian moment here, boys and girls. That is a Hadrian moment right there. There we go. Oh, that cleared all that up. Wow, that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's been ten full, ten days. Feels like cat sitting on my chest. Oh, no. Sounds like you need to go in and, and maybe have a doc, like, take a look at you or give you something. That does not sound good at all, Talia. Escape 
this cold. That is high. I think this is as high as we can get. Okay, that that helped a little bit. That that, that was that was pretty good. Seeing how high I can get above the climber's cave. Oh, I've done a pretty good job sneaking around the wall here. Okay. Ow. That was, yeah, that was, that was not good. <laughs> At least we're up on the wall now, so that I guess that's something. Ow. <laughs> Ouchie. What is that one little black spot that I can't get rid of? It's annoying the crap out of me. That little spot right there. Oh, that's just gonna that's just gonna irk me no end. And I got a sprained wrist. Of course I do. Of course I have a sprained wrist. Sorrow Schism with a 34 month reach sub. Thank you for that 34 months. It's a smudge for my thumb. Thank you for the 34 of the months there, my friend. I appreciate that. Sorrow underscore schism just resubscribed for 34 months. Ah, thank you so much, buddy. All right, let's sleep for like uh, two hours. Little smudge from my thumb right there, I guess. I guess it is. All right, we're gonna grab that ruined venison pie. Get a little bit of uh, rabbit food. Get a little more rabbit food. Grab that pie. Let's see. Can we grab? Can we grab most of this stuff here. We can, okay. I think we're gonna come back here though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the guts and the hides and the birch and the maple here for right now. Let's get a drink of water, and then let's also drink down a. Oh shoot! I didn't want to do that. Break down a birch bark tea as well. Do I still have the pain? I thought I got rid of that. Okay, never mind. Maybe you have to sleep for more than two hours to get rid of that. It's possible. Well, between my mom and Aunt Kathy, none of them know what happened to the rest of the brownies I made. <laughs> it would be good to. Uh, it would be a good mod to replace the bear with a werewolf and the wolves with Draculas. That be that would be awkward. That'd be odd under Underhill, but I, you know, somebody will probably come up with something like that for a Halloween type thing. It, it, it's it's plausible. I'm gonna go climb the rope up over here. I'm curious though. Sort of want to map here first. To see what we get. Okay, actually, no, we've already mapped all of that. So all we need to map is oh whoa, is over here. Interesting, okay. I say we I say we hack Mr. Deer apart here.
I know it seems weird. I'm building the fire over here instead of by the deer. But there's a there's a reason. There's a method to my madness. The method to the madness. There's a method to it, my friends. We 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 will we will do it. I don't know why it's not. Oh, there's a Discord channel in in chat right now. Uh, how, how cold is it here? It's negative five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Well, there's six pieces of cedar, uh, six pieces of fur for us right away. Bam! <laughs> yeah, the limbs, the limbs, exactly. There's the Discord right there, uh, Tripwood. A method to the madness, yep. Well, and see, it's not that cold out right now, so we can run over here, take his meat real quick, and then we can just run back and put it on the fire and get warmed up, then come over here and grab the grab the hide. Actually, it's not that cold out here at all right now. Let's throw a fur piece of firewood on there. So, yep, that, that got that cleared up pretty good. How long we got left on the old uh, meat there? Okay. Let's get the pan. Let's get that pan down. Get a little water going here. 22 minutes. That's enough time to take the hide. Gonna grab some more feathers. You always want to pick up the feathers around an animal before you start harvesting them. It gives a high chance of more feathers uh, to drop when you do the actual harvest. So, if you go to a, a, a corpse like this, and there's three feathers around it already. Pick those feathers up, and then harvest, and then you then you can look around for more feathers. It usually only happens once, but it, it works out pretty good for you. There we go. Ten minutes still boiled. Nine minutes still boiled. Awesome. Let's get ourselves a little more water going there. Let's take one of these guts. Now, the nice thing about these ravaged corpses is that you don't need a tool to harvest them. As long as you have the appropriate skill to harvest them, the tool is not necessary. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I have a tea. Let's drop the tea. We'll drink that down and get, get some warm-up bonus here. There we go. I actually don't really need the other gut, so I'm just going to leave it. I've got so many guts in the game, I'm just going to leave that gut. Because we don't need it right now. We is good to go. And do I already have this, this uh, ptarmigan nest here mapped out? I don't think I do. Okay, actually I did have that one, okay. Get up as high as I can here. Probably up next to this, and then we'll map again. There we go. Out of the wind, so it's only one arrow down. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, that pretty much did it. There's just this little tiny area there that I can't seem to get. It's just going to be a pain in my butt, thorn in my side. And then there's this little area down here. Actually, no, I did clear all that out. There's this area over here. This area here I can't get because that's a solid wall there. I think there's a rope climb over here. I want to get that rope climb on map. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there's the rope climb there. There we go. That leads down to Shattered Cove. I watch Interloper all the time. I never see any 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 T wolves. Uh, well, the only timber wolves that appear in the game are in uh, in the Bleak Inlet and in Broken Railroad. And most Interloper players don't go to those zones. Most, most interloper players, unless they're doing some sort of challenge or something like that under hill, they never go to those zones. Because there's nothing there's nothing oh, in those right. zones that is beneficial in the long term to them. The the, the the downside of those zones is way way more than the than the upside, the potential upside of those zones. So most players just don't go to them. Cause they're just mean zones. All they're just mean zones. They just they just are. But that that's why. I mean, I'll actually after after I get done with uh, uh, after I get done with uh, Ash Canyon, we will actually be going to Black Rock. We'll probably we might even be we might even be entering in Black Rock today. We still got over an hour and a half to go, and we are pretty much done with mapping in this zone. So we may even go to Black Rock today. Um, but yeah, Black Rock is Black Rock and Bleak Inlet. The Timberwolves are just they're just they're they're more like an annoyance than anything else. Once you're all geared up. Before you're geared up, they're a real pain in the ass. Once you get geared up, it's just like, oh man, I got to deal with these guys. All right, so let's leave the uh, let's leave the gut and the hide here. Let's drop those there. Alrighty, um, got my food on me. Is it me or the the moose is always like always there in uh, Timberwolf Mountain, and you want and you just want to pass and nothing more? Oh yeah, the moose is always there when you just want to go by him. When you don't care about him, he's always just sitting there going, "Hey, how's it going?" But when you want to actually move on, but you know when you actually want to hunt him, he's never around. He's never ever around. Hey, I I have already done Bleak Inlet, Bleak BK. Bleak Inlet is already mapped, done, and over. We did Bleak Inlet actually really early. I got a 24% bow. I'll need to fix that up. I do have a toolkit, which is nice. I need to make some more arrows because I'm getting low on those. Got a few things we have to kind of do before we go to our next zone. All right. Um, let's see, what kind of foods do we got? You know what, let's eat a few cattails just to kind of get rid of a little more vitamin C problems. We had to go fishing last episode. We had to go fishing to get, get our vitamin C going. I loved it so much I couldn't wait. Well, it was on the way to where we were going, BK, and I was like, I just want to go there and get it over with. <sighs> I might make some torpedoes. Dude, I love it when Twitch crashes and I miss anything. Yes, it's awesome, isn't it? What my one benefit from Black Rock is I normally get the moose right next to the Bricklayers Retreat. That is nice getting them right there. That gives you a really good, really good supply of food super close to the Bricklayers Retreat, which is actually really super nice. I was gonna let some time pass because I we're gonna move down to the Angler's Den tomorrow. There we go. A little more water in us. Because honestly, even though we have this little black spot up here, I'm not going to worry about it. This map is pretty well done. We need to get, we need to head down to Angler's Den, then walk our way out. Map this little area by Bitter Marsh up, and then we're just going to exit out through Timberwolf Mountain. We're going to exit out through Echo, Ca uh, Echo Canyon. Um, I'm not going to exit out into the deer clearing. I'm going to go Echo Canyon. Because that way we can we can get our stuff done at the... Uh, 
at the Angler's Den, which is we need we need to uh, at the Angler's Den we need to make some more arrows. And we, I guess we could do that either at the Angler's Den or we could do it in Timberwolf. Either way. Lamb stew, yes, please. Lamb stew, shepherd's pie, give it all to me. I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Torpedoes are ground beef, tomato paste, pepper, some red pepper uh, stewed, for hour, stewed for hours, and put on a long breast. Long bread, okay. I was going to say long breast. Wait a second. We aren't that kind of channel, genie girl. <laughs> we aren't that. We aren't that kind of channel. Hold on a second. Darn autocorrect. <laughs> and there's some more ptarmigans right here. I don't know if I have that ptarmigan nest on. Yeah, we do. Look at look at all the ptarmigan nests around Climbers Cave. There's one, two, three. Four ptarmigan nests right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the bear apocalypse. Appreciate that. I'll see if I can get the... If, I'll see if I can get the... The points added in. My my uh, st my stream deck is broken at the moment. Well, it's just, it's just not connected properly. It's, it had some connection issues, so... The nice thing is to get from Climber's Cave down here to the... Down here is really super easy. And by the way, there is a there is a lantern here. It's broken though. You can't pick it up. You can't interact with it. You can break down these crates if you want to, but it it's cold. But the nice thing is this is a little back way down to the angler's den that you won't really experience a lot of wolves because they're all over there and over there. And you're just going straight here to the angler's den, which is kind of nice. Hello, angler's den. How are you doing today? Oh, look, we have some food. It is a tease. I've had people on other videos, though, do go, Hey, you missed a lantern at so-and-so. And I'm like, yeah, I wish that was the case. <laughs> Okay, that maple is almost cured. That maple is almost done. Maples take a little bit longer than birch does to cure, so we'll leave this birch here. And you birch there. And you deer hide. You go right here. Your guts. And go over here. And we can drop those down here. Okay. I to leave something behind. There we go. All right. And we got the nine birch. Let's go ahead and get our arrowheads out and our feathers out. Just grab everything from there. What do we got in here? Okay, we got a lot of that. We got some hides. We got a few things there. Excellent. We do have our lantern, that, our hacksaw, and our pry bar, and all of our stuff there. We do have water, food, and sticks in here. Let's go ahead and drop the rest of these sticks here. And then let's drop our five fur here. That's perfect. Let's make up some arrow shafts. Luckily, I have the uh, the uh, the nice lantern, so I, I don't I I don't need another lantern right now. The, the, the only, beyond one lantern, pretty much all the other lanterns, I just break down and get the oil out of them because it doesn't it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it's really worth it, you know. 
to break all these down into arrow shafts. These are all these are all uh these are all uh maple and 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 uh and uh birch that I found in this zone by the way. And this is our second pass through the zone. We even found birch and maple in this zone before. And now in our second pass, we've even found more birch and maple. This zone has an incredible amount of birch and maple in it. Incredible amount. It, it's it's very it's very rich. I'm actually gonna drink down one of those. Drink down some water. All right, let's make some arrows. We're gonna use our simple toolbox. We don't have a great toolbox, but we got a simple one. So we might as well use it. Cut down our crafting time a little bit. Um, it takes about 25% of the crafting time off when you use the simple toolbox. If you use the the good, the great toolbox, it takes even more time off. It takes even it 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 basically cuts your crafting time in half, which is just phenomenal. Thank you, UC, for the poster chip. And how are you doing today, UC? I hope you're having a good one. Hope things are going good for you. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get that going on. And then we'll get some rest. I wish we'd get an Aurora. That'd be kind of nice. But, oh well. Life goes on. With or without it. It's funny how, how light it is in here at night now. It used to be pitch black in here. It's like the lighting has changed somehow. I don't know why they changed the lighting. But, yeah, it's now it's now a lot lighter in this place than it used to be, which is very, very odd. Very odd and awkward. All right, we do need to repair up our, uh, our deerskin pants. Ooh, something itchy in my ear. Um, we also need to improve, get that repaired up. We don't really have any cloth, though, right now to repair stuff with. So, unfortunately, we just have to kind of pass a little time until it gets light out. We're gonna finish crafting our arrows, and then we're gonna be working on getting out of the zone. There you go. Now see, now it got see now it got all dark in here, which is so weird. It's so strange. It like it like gets dark in here when the light actually comes out, which is very strange. All right, let's go ahead and drink some of that water. I mean, it'll get light now that that you know it's daytime, but. See, now it got light in here. Very, very weird. All right, that's all the arrows we can make. That gave us 21 arrows back. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, my maple is done. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and grab that and that out. Let's go ahead and get a little food. We're basically going to make another bow, and then we're going to get the heck out. We're going to make another bow, and then we're going to march out towards the exit of the zone. There's some rabbit pies. There's that pie. And that pie. There's our prepper pie. That's our... That's our get out of jail free pie. I don't I don't even know. I honestly, we may get a couple more um a couple more burdock root in zone of contamination and maybe we might get a few in we might get a few in black rock as well, but that is pretty much the end of our our uh, stuff that we're going to have for making prepper's pie. So that's probably one of the last one of the last prepper pies we're going to see this game. So they start arguing back and forth, son of a beach, son of a birch. How how much do I have on my knife now? Knife's down to 54%. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. It's all gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be alright. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one more piece of meat out here.
the uh the uh the rose hips mushrooms and burdock root do not respawn so those are a one time you get one shot at those skylet and then they do not respawn after that i don't know why my chat paused here that's so weird that's so weird. If you leave that pie on the ground, it's going to get hair on it. It might. It might be a hairy pie pretty soon. Going to a hockey game? All right, Duke. Have a good hockey game, my friend. Have fun at the hockey game, buddy. I'm feeling a lot better, UC. I'm feeling a lot better. I don't know why my chat paused. That was weird. That was weird. I don't know why I don't know why it paused there. Might be possible to find burdock by beachcombing. It might be. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna ha ever have that. I know you can find mushrooms beachcombing. So maybe down the road they'll have that where you can find burdock root beachcombing. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's get some rest. We should have enough now so we we do have it we do have a nice backup bow now so if you look at our if you look at it alphabetically we have we have two bows i'm gonna leave this simple tools here i think just in case we ever come back to this zone i like to have tools kind of scattered around the world so i can make make arrows a little bit cheaper and i think we already have tools in timberwolf mountain if we don't it's not a big deal um it's light out why is it not light out there's the workbench. I would drink almost anything about now. There we go. Okay, let's put that up here. Deer hides 50%. Cured, 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 and cured. Those guts are curing. Those are cured. You know, I'm going to leave that maple here. I think that maple's just gonna stay here. I am gonna. I, I think I'll leave the deer hide here. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be getting cured anytime soon. We have a lot of rabbit hides here. I'm actually gonna take a couple rabbit hides with me, and um, I'm gonna grab a gut, a little bit of charcoal. Leaves me seven. That gives me seventeen. I need a little more than seventeen charcoal. There we go. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and just because we can fix our rabbit gloves, because why not? They're gloves and they're rabbity. Um, let's go ahead and grab a couple pieces of fur and some of our sticks. Let's grab a book to burn. Is there anything else I want to take here? I'm just going to take 20 charcoal with me. Um, I think I will take one more rabbit hide. Actually, no, I have two now, so I'm going to leave a rabbit. I'll leave that here. I just want one rabbit hide extra on me. Um, let's see. Cured guts. I'll take one. I'll take uh, two cured guts just to have them. Got everything else we want here, I think. How much water do I got on me? All right. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll leave this last liter water here. Leave a message for Hinterland on the wall. Um, yeah, I could do that, but I won't. I'll be nice. I'll, I, I will behave. Oh, behave. Oh, behave. Okay. I'm going to eat the venison pie just so we can travel pretty lightly. It gives us three extra kilos of carry weight. There we go. All right, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna basically work our way down here. We're gonna get down here. We're gonna map that little area out, and then we're gonna get the heck out of here. Got food picks on Discord. Oh, you are so evil. If I can get if I can get my mouse to come over to the other screen, or there we go. Oh, you're so evil. Okay, let's look at let's look at the lamb stew. Yum. Yeah, pack that up and ship that to me, okay? I know it'll pro probably be bad by the time it gets here, but... I want it, my precious.
Nah, unfortunately it would all be bad and rotten by the time it got here. That's sad. We'd have to make it through customs and they'd probably steal some of it. They'd probably eat it up num num and be like, yeah, it's ours now. the moose is going to be up down here that's always kind of a pain in the butt having to work work your way around the moose just send the recipe to af he's a renowned chef <laughs> yeah right yeah right no never trust a guy using a toothpick when he says we had to confiscate those snacks yep Roast the lamb the night before. Oh, I'm already out then. I can't do anything the night before. Uh, Kenneth, we are just about done with Ash Canyon, actually. I'm very nervous about the moose being up down here, though. Renowned for food poisoning and belly aches. Uh, we'll be going to Black Rock. Yay. Where is he? Oh, it's a moose stomp. Good God. Uh, that's a moose, guys. That's, that's a... That's a... That's a moose right there. That's a moose right there. That's a, that's a, that's a moose. There's no wolf, there's no wolves. That was a ducky hug. That was too telegraphed. I heard that one a mile away. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, that was too, that was, I heard that one coming. And chop an onion, a celery, and a carrot. Whatever. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mate. Whatever else you fancy. That's a ghost. That's a ghost leviathan. Those guys are nasty. Hey, look at the fish. We got some fish here. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I did hear that. That was a ghost. That was a ghost leviathan. We'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be messing with those guys later on today. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Drop Mr. Fish. Oh, we don't have any Mr. Fish on me. Oh, I do have water here, though. That's nice. Let's go ahead and build a little fire. Build a little fire here. Wow, we have a 100% chance with a fur and a, and, a, and a fire striker. That's my vitamin C supplements. Exactly. It, it truly, truly is. Come on. Come on, come on. Since we're getting warmed up, we might as well fish for a few hours. Why not? Don't forget, see, a Steam Spring sales going on right now. Don't remind me. Don't remind me of the Steam Spring sale. We don't want to buy any more games. No more games. No more games. I've got so many games I can't even play. And now that I've been a caught fish, I can't play them even more. I might have to drop some gear. Ah, don't listen to him. You want to buy all the games you want. You know, if you see a game that you've been wanting for $4, $5, $3, buy it. Just do it. Just do it. All I can say is, do it. 
Yeah, I stay away from the Steam Spring, uh, the spring Sale. Don't do that. You love to buy new games at the Spring Steam Sale. It's so much fun. Say Steam Spring Sale three times fast. Steam Spring Sale, Steam Spring Sale, Steam Spring Sale. It's very difficult. It, it just, just don't do it. All right, let's go ahead and cook some fish up here real quick. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. I'm going to buy 17 games I'll never play for $3.50 each. Yes. That is what that is what you do on the Steam Spring Sale. That is exactly what happens. Sweat them in oil, add rosemary, Worcester sauce, and a little of gravy to start off. Add the chunks of lamb, then cook until carrots are tender. Oh, I can't do that. I'm not that I'm not that skilled. I am I am not a chef. This gear is starting to slow me down. I am not a chef. Not a chef. Easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy for you. Not easy peasy for me. All right, let's grab. Let's grab a couple of the bass. We're going to eat a pie. We're going to drink our water. I do know how to sweat. That is that is true. I do know how to sweat. That that is something I do very well. Let's grab our pan. There we go. We're still overweight. Oh, we're only overweight by a little tiny bit. You know what? Let's leave ourselves. Let's be kind to ourselves. Leave a fur here for ourselves for the future. And let's leave a few sticks for ourselves. There we go. Nice. I cook a mean hot pocket, man. My hot pockets are renowned. My hot pockets are awesome, bro. Oh, there's more cattails here too, nice. All right, let's see how far we have to go. Yeah, we don't have to go very far to map that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's that's good. I like that. I pretty much my cooking consists of I know how to boil water, I know how to make grilled cheese. I can make a grilled cheese sandwich. I know how to boil water, and I know how to uh, I know how to heat stuff up in a microwave. I can turn my oven on and heat it up to a certain degrees and put a frozen pizza in it. I mean, that's kind of cooking. Takes a little bit of skill to do that, you know? You could set it accidentally on the wrong temperature. And then what do you got? You got a burnt pizza. And who wants burnt pizza? I do cook a gr mean grilled cheese. I will say that. My grilled cheese is pretty damn good. All right, we're gonna climb up here if we can. Yes, we can. I'm gonna do a final map right up here. This is our final map in Ash Canyon for right now. I mean, we got Ash Canyon pretty well, pretty well mapped out, boys and girls. Look at that. We got a little, little, little dark spots, but those are very inaccessible hard spots to get to. But we did a really good job. With, uh, with Ash Canyon, I think. I'm calling it a win. We only have Black Rock and uh, Zona Contamination to go now. We got a little tiny spot in uh, 
Forsaken Airfield that we have to map, but uh, that's like 98% mapped at this point. And that was more just, I, I just wanted to leave. I just wanted to leave that zone because it was getting so frustrating to map it. Because we just kept getting blizzards and storms and it was just like, really game? Really? Figure we'll grab these last few cattails because the cattails are free vitamin C for you. And we have some food. We got some, uh, we got some fishy vitamin C on us as well. That vitamin C is a little fishy, but it's always good. Then we'll go back into Timberwolf and then we will head into, um, Blackrock. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to Black Rock. Luckily, we have all of our arrows made now. So we got all of our arrows made. Um, actually, let's see. Do I have my good bow? No, I, I need to get my crappy bow equipped. You always have to manually equip your, your garbage bow. If you auto-equip a weapon, it always equips the highest level, highest quality weapon uh, from your inventory into your hands. So if you're trying to use up an old bow and arrow... You have to you have to go in and physically equip the the lower condition bow and arrow over the higher condition one. Same thing what works with guns, uh, with the uh, with the guns as well as the uh, uh, the flare gun as well too. Hey John, me, how you doing? We're having a great day. We're just finishing up. We got all of Ash Canyon mapped up. We're heading back to Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah, same with sewing kits. Yep. It'll, it'll, do, it'll go the highest sewing kit, which is like, no, I want to use up my other sewing kits. We're just heading back to Timberwolf. We're going to make a quick stop by the Mountaineer's Hut and drop some stuff off, pick some stuff up, reorganize our gear, and then off to Black Rock we go. Because to get to Black Rock and Timberwolf is pretty easy from the Mountaineer's Hut. You just go up the river, and then you take a little right, you go around to the engine, and bingity bangity boomity bop, you're there. So, that's that's how it is. Bingity bangity boomity bop. All right. Woo. Ash Canyon behind us. Timberwolf Mountain in front of us. <laughs> New words. Bingity bangity boomity bop. Those are all good. <laughs> Goodbye, Ash Canyon. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ash Canyon. We knew you well. So the entrance to Timber uh, to Black Rock is right there. We are right here. We're gonna head up, probably sleep in the Bears Cave tonight, and then go to the Mountaineer Sun tomorrow. And we just gotta go up the river, climb around this way, and then up, and then then we uh, we just gotta oh we actually we gotta go up this way and around to the engine. Cross the river and then in the Black Rock from there. I'm just I'm just making the the stop by the Mountaineers Hut first, um, just so we're fully geared up. What if the bear is using his cave? Uh, the bear's dead. We kill we killed we killed the bear. Uh, let's see how many days ago. Yeah, it's day 475. We killed the bear about 25 days ago. And after 25, after, the bear responds every 50 days after day 50, so. Why Black Rock? That's the only zone we have not mapped up yet other than Zone of Contamination. We have every other zone in the game mapped except for Black Rock, Zone of Contamination. Oh, and I guess we don't have Keeper's Pass North and South mapped either. So we're going to have to do a little mapping in Keeper's Pass North and South, but those, those are more transition zones than zone zones. And I'm trying to get all the all the zones mapped on this run. We got a, we got a stank line on us. We got a little bit of a little bit of fishiness going on. Black rock is like getting your head stuck in a vice. Yeah, you know. 
that or some other part of your body. <laughs> that lamb was peppery. You had a peppery lamb, huh? I like a good amount of pepper on my food. It, it can get a little overdone, though. Hubby did the roast yesterday and went it went to town with the pepper. <laughs> hey, Rockstar Devil, how you doing? We just finished up in Ash Canyon. We're now back in Timberwolf Mountain. We are heading towards the Mountaineer's Hut. And we are going to be going to uh, the Mountaineer's Hut before we go into Black Rock, which is our next goal. Your lips are tingling. Which town did he go to for the, for the pepper? Well, I know it would be a German town. So... You finally got a moose yesterday. Nice. Congratulations. That is really awesome news. I'm so happy for you. It's always, it always, I mean, no matter what, Rockstar, I always feel such a sense of accomplishment. No matter how many moose I've killed, it's all, it always feels like, it, I feel such a sense of accomplishment every time. Because honestly, moose are one of the harder creatures in the game to bring down. Uh, bears are hard too, but. Um, but moose are the most difficult. I see personally, I know this may be controversial, but personally, I think bears should not bleed out either. I think you, I think you should have to kill bears in one shot too. What do you think about them apples? I think bears should be just as tough. I think the only only animals that should be able to be bled out are wolves, deer, and 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 that's it. And bear, bears and bears and uh, and moose should have the same the same toughness. That would make bear that would make bear hunting way more entertaining. I think. And I'd be totally for that. I endorse that message. I dropped my broth. I dropped something. I dropped me broth. Hey, look, we have a bear hide here. Hello. 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 Goodbye. Uh, okay, so I got that there. I got that there. Does either of my bear hide coats need repairing? Not really. Not especially. I need to repair my deerskin pants. I need to get some cloth to repair that. I don't have any cloth on me right now. Okay, we're nice and tired. So let's get that down. That we need cloth to repair as well. Let's eat a little bit of smallmouth bass. Just get our vitamin. We're going to get our vitamin C all jacked up before we go to... Uh, before we go over to the hellish zone. Let's grab some charcoal there. Let's drink our water. Give us news a chance. In times when longbows were the main weapon, there was a special arrowheads for bleeding out boars and bears. Yes. And we've discussed being able to make the hollow arrows as well. Um, which I think would be kind of cool. It'd take it'd take a lot more take a lot more to make them. Um But um But would it, wouldn't it be cool if say so say Say you got a maple, and, and when you went to harvest it into arrow shafts, you had two choices. You could get three arrow shafts or one hollow arrow shaft. So you could do three regular arrow shafts or a hollow arrow shaft. And then when you made, went to make arrowheads, you had the choice. You could make two regular arrowheads or one arrowhead that would attach to the hollow arrow shaft that would basically make a, a bleed-out arrow. So you would get you would get less out of it out of your materials, but you could make the bleed out. You could make the arrows that would let them bleed out, and and you could switch over to those, much like we do with the fire hardened arrows. You could switch to those for bears and moose, and use those specifically on the bear or moose. Wouldn't that be cool? But it would take more resources and stuff to do. I think that I think that would be kind of a neat alternative. Give us, give us, give us different, uh, 
different things. You'd have your simple arrows, and you could have the uh, uh, what what were the what were the hollow arrows called? I'm gonna try to Google it. See if somebody in chat can Google it before I do. What were What were hollow arrows called? No, not holy arrows. Not not holy arrows. Hollow. Hollow. Not yes, I meant hollow arrows. Bolt arrows also known as in crossbow boats, bolts. What is a hollow metal arrowhead? It's an insert. Uh, get, uh, glue the shaft that mated arrows do not come with. Or were hollow arrows called? Not holy arrows, hollow arrows. Okay, I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. It keeps pulling up holy arrows. It's like, you play D&D. You must mean holy arrows. No, not holo, uh, not holy arrows. Hollow arrows. Like, no, 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 no. You mean holy arrows. No, no, no. I don't mean holy arrows. Golly, gang. Golly, things. This wants me to be all about the holy arrows. Holy arrows are only good against undead, okay? Come on. We all know that. Jeez. Holy arrows, Batman. They're hollow. They're mahalo. They're mahalo arrows. <laughs> the arrows that go mahalo. <laughs> I thought they were barb tip arrows that create massive bleeding. Well, see, there there were arrows they made, and these arrows basically the the arrowhead was hot. The arrowhead was like it wasn't a solid arrowhead. It actually had a hole in the arrowhead, and it was made so that when it impacted into a creature, if the creature broke the arrow shaft off, the arrowhead would still be lodged in them, and it wouldn't allow the flesh to close and heal. And the arrow shaft would also, I believe, have a hollowness to it so that it basically created like a, a funnel that would just bleed out the animal after a while. Hey, Chef Brokey! How you doing? Hello, hello, Chef Brokey. How's your day going today? Everybody go over and give Chef Brokey a follow here on Twitch. Also, you can find Chef Roki over on, uh, over on Kick as well. Like, we're gonna loot right here at the bottom of the house. Like, Bam, there she is. Right Last place of seven days to die. Nice. That's not seven days to die. <laughs> something gonna happen. Something gonna happen. I, I was waiting for something to happen. I was waiting for something to happen. Everybody go over and give Chef Rookie a follow, though. Oh, oh, hello, 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 hello. Bleed arrows. Okay, they are just, they're just like bleed arrows. Okay. Hello and goodbye. So they're just bleed arrows. Okay, well, I think it'd be awesome if we could make bleed arrows in Long Dark. That'd be cool. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good puppers. Good puppers. Thank you, House. You got my back. We are done with Ash Canyon. We are heading back to the the uh, Mountaineer's Hut here, as we're going to uh, resupply, uh, figure out what gear we want to take with us and what we don't want to take with us to go to Black Rock, because we're going to be going to Black Rock. Yay! Black Rock is on the docket. We have we have now completed every zone in the game. Mapping wise, except for Black Rock, Keepers Pass North and South, which I don't really count as a zone, and Zone of Contamination. Those are the only zones that are left to us that we have not completely mapped. So, on that front, I'm pretty damn excited. Is there fish sitting in front of this hut here? Do I have fish over here? Do I really have 
fish over here. I do have fish over here. Look at that. Look, look at that, Skylet. Thank you for the sixth month resub. <laughs> hey, Faith. How you doing, darling? Thank you so much, Faithy, for that or for that that lovely message there. And Skylar, thank you for the six months. For six months. What's in here? Sucks. Oh, we got wood in there. Interesting. Put some of that in there too. What do we got here? Oh, we have a whole bunch of crappy fish hooks there. Wow. I'll just put those in there too. Okie dokie then. All righty then. <laughs> a boot of a boot. The things are, they're a boot. Well, faith. There's more of me to watch. You can watch me everywhere now. <laughs> and we're gonna do our subnautica here to, this afternoon. So that's gonna be fun. I cannot wait for the subnautica. For the Subnautica. Doing good, glad to see you, but I only have a little while before Irish dinner with the fam. Oh well, that sounds like so much fun. I hope you have a great time. All right, let's clues, clues or doer. Let's clues or doer. All right, we got that. We got those in there. We got some feathers to put in there. Um, what do we got in here? We got some wood. What do, what do I? What do I have in here? I've got a wolf pelt in there. I still have no deer pelt here. Dude, I leave deer pelts down in... I must have left deer pelts down in the... Uh, down below. I, mu I must have. I have to have left some deer pelts down there. There's no There's no way I don't have any deer pelts at all. I should have brought my deer pelt from there, I guess. I guess I, guess I should have. I, I didn't think I was going to need to, but I should have. Interesting. I've got that. I've got this big old this big old bear pelt. That's nice. Um, I can leave that here. I can leave the uh, guts and that hide here. Um, I got all that stuff here that I'm gonna leave. Let's let's also leave. Uh, uh, let's break this down real quick. Boss, is it possible for you to make every uh, to make every craftable recipe in Loper? Um. I think so. I mean, it's it's more mad. Are you talking about like the 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 food recipes? Um, I think it's possible. It's not real probable. I don't think it's real probable to make them. It, it's kind of a, in my opinion, it's kind of a waste of time to make them because you don't really need to, per se. But most most of them are not very useful to you, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to leave these fishies here. I'm going to leave Mr. Fish and Mr. Fish 2 here. And I'm going to leave... Because we're going to come back up here. I'm going to leave the Prepper's Pie here. And I'm going to leave my Hackety Hack. My Hackety Hack Saw here. I'm going to leave all my charcoal here because I'm going to come back for that. Let's see, what else can we leave here? Bippity bop. Nope, nope. Oh, I'll leave those feathers here. There we go. We don't have a lot of feathers. That's kind of odd. Kind of awkward. Actually, you know what? I don't why why do I have the the ptarmigan down in there? That's weird. Alright, let's put the ptarmigan down over here. And then I'll take back 15 of it. There we go. Um, I'm going to leave that and that, those two here. Leave the mushrooms and those here. Um, do, 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 Leave most of these here. Keep a few with me. I'm going to leave the lantern and those here. I'm going to leave that down there. Leave the leave the Travoy here as well. 
Okay. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's grab... Let's grab some meat to take with us, because that'll leave us some meat down here. Well, I think if you, I think if you stretched it, Kenneth, I think there's enough for, for if, if you really were, if you were really careful with like all of your, you know, cans of corn, your potatoes and your carrots, you might, oh, Jesus Christ me. You might be able to, you might be able to. I got a challenge for you. ATN and what's cooking, you need to cook every receipt of the game and present it in the PB dinning room of the farm. Five dollars <laughs> at the end for the buffet. Well, I'd first have to find all the recipes, which is which is a task in and of itself. You have to go to all the different zones to get the recipes. Um, I'd, I'd have to calc I'd have to really calculate it out and see if it's even possible, because I, I don't even know if it's I don't even know if it's possible. Uh, if you actually would have enough uh, enough stuff to do it all, because you'd also have to raid the you'd have to do all signal void. You have to do all of signal void because you have to get you have to get all the cans of corn. Um, but I will I will I will check it out and let you know if it's actually a possibility to actually even do it. I think I think you might be able to. Maybe. I mean, of course, all the you know the basic stuff like the pies. Uh, the stews, you could do most of those, because that just, that's just, uh, that's just, uh, um, broth, which is easy to get, and flour, it takes flour, so you can easily get that as well. But I'm not sure how many cans of corn you need. Mrs. Honeypot, have a great rest of your evening with Mr. Lemon Tree. Thank you for coming by, thank you for sharing your beautiful pictures of your food and making me hungry. I was just straightening your spear after the game's lift in 2021. Yeah, that probably that that probably happened. That probably happened. Looks like we're gonna drop down into Pleasant Valley real quick too. Actually, you know, it might be fun. Now nah, we'll come back up. I'm just gonna drop. I'm gonna take get all these sticks and drop them off in Pleasant Valley as well. Cause why not? Not to lift carrots in Interloper. I actually got quite a few carrots. I actually ate some of my carrots, which I kind of regretted doing. But there's not enough carrots in Interloper to do to do it all. In Stalker, you have enough plus two carrots. So it would mainly be the carrots that would stop you from being able to do it. Because I know tater-wise, I have plenty of taters. I got like eight or nine taters sitting in... Uh, Sitting in uh, Pleasant Valley right now. You know, cause you tried. So I guess, I guess Valor Genie Girl is confirming that it would be, it would be, it's an impossibility to make them all. Just because of the the carrots right now. I've never, I honestly, Genie Girl, I've never even looked, cause it's like. Some of the recipes, I'm just like, I don't want to make that. I always kind of pick and choose the recipes I make in Interloper. And most of the ones that take corn and carrots and potatoes generally just aren't worth it to me. There's 43 carrots in Interloper, you need 51. A boo. And Stalker, there's 53. Okay. The stews are what do does you in? Oh, okay. Just, 
Don't tell me what I can do. Can't do. Yeah, just don't. Don't tell me what I can't do. Don't tell me what I can't do. Don't tell me what I can't do. Ever. Ever. Don't tell me what I can't do. Don't tell me what I can't. Ever. Don't tell me what I can't do. Yeah, cause um, for the Briar House pie it takes no carrots. Coastal fish cakes. That's just potatoes. Dock workers pie takes some taters. Pancakes just take the syrup and the pinnacle peaches. Of course, you got the peach pie, the preppers pie, ptarmigan pies. You got all the pies. That that's just all that's just all meat, acorn grounds, water, oil, salt, and and flour. Those are the pies are easy to do. It looks like there's no carrots needed for anything that I have on this side. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got the six recipes there. Seven, eight, nine. So I got the nine recipes there. So um, I need four carrots there because the, each, car each carrot is each carrot a tenth of a kilo. So I need four carrots there, another two carrots there. Now those stews are not bad. The Cambridge stew doesn't take carrots. So which which ones take up the carrots? It's just Thompson's family and the and the Ranger stew. Trout stew doesn't take any. Am I miss am I missing a recipe at this point? Oh, I think I miss isn't there a recipe in uh Black Rock as well. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any carrots that take that are used in the in the uh, in the pies. The veggie stew is that is that one that you get is that one that you get in uh, Black Rock or did I miss that one? Are you sure on the potato count? I, I, I don't... I, I'm not seeing where I use, would use all the carrots up. Because, I mean, this one takes 0.2 kilos of carrots. Aren't the carrots... Aren't the carrots like a tenth of a kilo each? Or am I overestimating on the carrots? Are they are they less than that? I'm so confused. Hey, Cass. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you two. Hmm. I left something here. You got pinched at midnight last night? That sounds like fun. <laughs> the main the main part of that the main part of that quest more than anything, uh, is just getting all the recipes. Just get just getting all the recipes gathered up. That's gonna be the main part. Everything else after that's going to be easy. I mean, the cook the cooking part, the cooking part's not the not the hardest part. It's gathering the recipes and the ingredients. How do I have the hat from the game on Mr. Uh, 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 Underhill? Uh it was made for me by Lynette Melody. Who has Lynette Gate City Yarns? Has Gate City Yarns and uh she's quite the witty knitter. And I'll put her link up in in the YouTube chat as well. There's there's her YouTube there's her link to her Facebook page. Uh, she made the hat for me. And she made Owl Nuggets some winter socks too. Yep. Alrighty. Well, um, yeah, I was gonna bring some stuff down. I was gonna bring some stuff and leave it down here. I guess I'll leave that here. I guess I'm taking a little side trip here, boys and girls. So we're gonna travel down to the farmhouse. Before I go to Black Rock, I want to have stuff in good shape. So we're gonna try. We're gonna travel down to the farmhouse. We'll, we'll uh, go back up through. Uh, so looked on a forum and got those numbers. Okay. There are a lot of potatoes, not so many carrots. All I know is when I went to do it, I was short a few carrots, never ate one, never ate a one and went everywhere. 
Yeah, I, I've like I said, I've never tried, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna trust your knowledge on it because I've never tried it. Um, but we could definitely, we could definitely give it a try and see see if we can do it. It would be quite a long run, just like this one. It'd be quite the run. Hey, Mr. Barley, how you doing? Oh shoot, and then I forgot my pies and my foods and stuff. That was really smart. Is it a challenge? No, it's not a challenge. Valor was just wondering if we could make all the food and, and have like a feast set up. Do a do a foodie run. It would it, the main the main the, the main time consumer on it is just going and getting all the recipes. Going from place to place to get the recipes because you have to travel to all these different places to get recipes. You have to get cooking to level 5 for a lot of the recipes. You also have to uh, go to all the prepper caches to find the prepper pie recipe. Because unlike most of the other recipes, the prepper pie recipe can be in one of nine spots scattered throughout the entire world. And then you have to go find the carrots, the taters. You gotta do some fishing. Um, it'd definitely be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna grab my rabbit pies. Let's go inside and get warmed up real quick. Just making my head. I know, buddy. I know. It's good. It's gonna be fine. Excuse me. Woo! That was a little sneezy poo. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab that coal. Do I have any sticks on me at all? I got 11 sticks, okay. I have no idea, Kenneth. Not a clue. Yeah, it, that's the nice thing about Long Dark. You can sort of do whatever you want in it, and anything can be a challenge. You can make you can you could be like you could be like I just want to map every zone. That's my challenge. Map every zone. That's what I'm doing. And 400 and almost 80 days in, we've almost mapped all the zones except for Black Rock, Keepers Pass North and South, and Zone of Contamination. The longest mapping, I believe, was Forsaken Airfield. That took us 58 days to map. <laughs> I did only pancake challenge. Only pancakes, huh? Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. We're going over to emote only, chat boys and girls. It's going to be emote only for a few minutes. If I can find the, if I can find the damn. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, I gotta find, gotta find the damn switch for it here. Um, emote only. There we go. Emote only chat. There we go. We got emote only chat coming up on on you on Twitch side. So it's emote only chat for a few minutes. There you go. Get those emotes up, boys and girls. We'll go back to regular chat in just a second. When we get down to the when we get down to the uh um the uh draft dodgers cabin, we'll we'll go back from emote only chat. And throw up any emote you want. Doesn't have to be mine, it can be anybody's emote. Feel the sword power, yes. You yeah, as a sword power you can say things in chat still, so. People with the power of the sword can still say things in chat, so. <laughs> See, Owl Nuggets is going pew, 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 pew. He's saying stuff in chat. Owl Nuggets is pew, pewing in chat. That's totally legal, too. And this emote-only chat was brought to you via Owl Nuggets, so. 
You can all thank Al Nuggets for it. Let's use our let's use our knife and get that going. Oh, we're gonna take a little cold damage. Ow, 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 ow. We don't need the guts. We're good. All right, let's grab those feathers. Grab a few more feathers. There we go. There we are. Let's grab these mushrooms here. I don't know why I haven't grabbed these mushrooms yet. That's a little awkward. A little awkward. And of course, you you over on YouTube, you are not in emote only chat. Those of you on YouTube, you can do whatever you want. Emote only chat only applies to uh, only applies to the Twitch side. So. <laughs> You YouTubers are totally free to do whatever you want to. All right, we're almost going to turn it off, so get those emotes. Well, you can always put emotes up in chat, but get those emotes up. Emote only chat will be ending here in just a few seconds once I pick these mushrooms and ditch into the uh, ditch into the uh, draft dodgers cabin where we're going to be dodging the draft, boys and girls. All right, there we go. Boop, ba -de boop, 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 and there we go. We'll uh, just turn that off. Boink. There we go. Now, now we're out of emote only chat. There. So, there we go. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, uh, YouTube does not like emotes. I, I don't know. I've tried to. I've tried to do the bot a whole bunch of different ways. Sorry, cop, copper. It'll. 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 It'll, uh, it'll uh, say no to you there. It'll be mean and say no to you and then tie me out because I, I, haven't, I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't figured that out yet. Oh, Balverine wants some more emote-only chat. Okay, we'll, we'll do a little bit more emote-only chat then. Uh, I, did, I didn't see that. Thank you for mentioning that. We'll do a little more emote-only chat. I, I, I don't know why I have such a hard time. My eyes just do not see things like they used to. Where's there's the emote-only? Oh, it was just down further. There we go. Surprised I didn't want the deer hide? What, you mean that deer hide right there? You didn't see me sneak that one, did ya? Did ya? Woo! Look at that. I snuck that deer. I just snaked that deer hide right out of there, didn't I? Didn't I? I'm a sneaky little I'm a sneaky little feller there. That deer hide just came off that deer, and you were like, "What? Where did he get that deer hide from?" And I'm like, "I had it all along. It was it was with me all along." There we go. Let's get that going. There we are. Let's get this. Let's get this meat out. Let's get this meat cooked up. <laughs> That's how fast I am. That's how fast I am, Hallis. I get that. I I just take the deer hide and I just utilize it and I crush it. And nobody even sees it happen. They just, they're just shocked. Shocked, I tell you. All right, we got 34, 35 minutes on those. Let's get them going. Yum, yum. All right, we're almost warm back up now. Do 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 do. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's make some water here real quick. There we go. Perfect. And I have I have I have prepared stuff to do. Let's do some prepared stuff. Let's get it going. Get it on, baby. Let's drink a little bit of that water we got to. Alright. Emote only is going off. There we go. Emote only is done there. There we are. There we go.
wonder why YouTube chat is acting so weird. That's strange. There we go. YouTube chat was acting strange there for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. Alright, let's uh, prepare up another uh, mushroom here. Might as well make some teas while we're sitting here doing nothing else. You know, we're just trying to get ourselves a little more tired. I'll just make a little more water here while we're doing that. Okay. Let's prepare up another mushroom. Copper Hamster, good morning, my friend. Sorry about the emote thing on YouTube. I've never been able to figure out why YouTube does that. I don't I don't know why. I know I know when you're a member of the channel, it never ever time it doesn't time people out who are members and, and use that. And Sean, how you doing by the way? How you doing, Sean? Yes, the uh, Camber Flight Porridge does look really gross, Sean. It does look it does look really good. And and how are you doing today, Sean? I hope you're having a good one. There we go. Oh, is that is that water done? That water's done. Look at that. Let's get some more water boiling then. Let's get a few more teas going here. Yum yum. Bots don't spam and most they spam links. Exactly. I, I think it has something to do with my bot setting or something. I've been try I've tried to figure it out for a while, and uh, nothing seems to work. I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not real versed on the YouTube side. On the YouTubes. I try to figure out the YouTubes, but I'm not very good at it. All right, let's grab a little torch here so we can go inside and see what we're see what we got to see. Grab our little bit of ruined moosey meat and eat that. Yum yum. All right, let's go indoors. Get indoorsy. All right, we got that deer hide cure in here. That's very nice. Very nice. Let's drink a little water. Thompson's family stew and ranger stews use carrots. Yes, they do. And I think I think isn't there? And I think there's a vegetable stew as well. I'm sure you could look up all. I'm sure. I'm sure the the long dark. Let's see. Let's look at this long, dark. If you look up long dark recipe locations, I'm sure there is a I'm kind of thirsty. Yeah, there there's a, there's a there's a whole list of them: coastal fish cakes, stalker pie, lily pancakes, Briar House pie, Thompson's family stew, Camber flight porridge, dock workers pie, ranger stew, and preppers pie. Those are the those are the recipes that are available in the game right now. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine recipes right now. Nine nine card recipes. So I, I believe I, I, I'm pretty sure I have them all. I'm pretty sure I have every recipe in the game right now. Let's let's take a peek. So there's one, two, three, four. And there's five. So there's five that are in the skillet. Six, seven, eight. Oh, and I missed stalker pie. So there's six in there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there's six in the skillet and three in the pot. So, yep, six in the skillet, three in the pot. So. Yeah, this little quick trip we were going to take before we got to Black Rock uh, has turned into a little longer trip. So we need to get that. We need to get down to the uh, down to the uh, um, farmhouse to get some get some gear repaired. Let's pass time for two hours, then we'll sleep for we'll sleep, and then we'll get up. There we go. That was a zippity dap. I'm gonna leave that here to cure because why not? And we are going to 
Leave a bottle of water or two here to cure it to, to be good as well. Let's take, um... Yeah, let's take those rabbit pies there with us. And by the way, we do have this zone all mapped. <laughs> This uh, this zone is all this zone is all mapped up and looking good. Gonna have a few sticks as we go here. And then in about 20 minutes, boys and girls, we're gonna start up our Subnautica run. We're gonna get back into that. We uh, pretty much have we have we just got we got our Cyclops built. We're down in the Lost River. We are exploring and have, we are very close to finding out what's going on with this, with the disease that we have. So that's exciting. And then um, after we finish up Subnautica, we are going to be uh, uh, enjoying some more Horizon and it's gonna be Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West is coming out soon. Uh, it's coming out next, uh, next week actually on the 21st, I believe. I think it's the 21st that's coming out. Now, unfortunately, I am going to be gone next weekend. I'm going to be gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That is the weekend of my gaming convention that happens every year. And so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to be off. And then we'll be back on Monday the 25th. Uh, no, we'll be at, actually, I'll be off on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I'll be off for a week. Um, and then I'll be back on the 26th. So... So we're gonna have a little little gap there in streaming <laughs> because of the game convention. So next weekend is sadness, I know. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get some uh, get some content uh, made up for the YouTube side. So I'm gonna try to get some more Dyson Sphere program, some more Civilization VI, some more um, uh, Witcher Three. I'm gonna try to get all that going for this next week and pack it through Saturday and Sunday and Monday. So, so uh, I'm going to be trying to get all that going on. So there will be some YouTube content going up. But yeah, here on Twitch, we'll kind of be blacked out for the end of the month due to my gaming convention and my brother's birthdays right around that time too. So you got Zero Dawn but haven't played it yet. Zero Dawn Owl Nuggets is so much fun. Zero Dawn is a great game. So, so much fun. So... Definitely, I would say play play Horizon Zero Dawn if you haven't already. It's it's a great one. Lots of good stuff. Killing the robot dinosaurs is always always a blast. There are some evil evil tribe dudes you have to take out too, but the robot dinosaurs is that's that never gets old. There's a wolfy boy out there. I don't want to deal with him right now. Wolves to the left of me. Wolves to the right. Stuck in the middle with you. Oh, you see me play Owl Nuggets? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, my son's coming in town next week. Or this week. This coming up week. He's coming into town. Once he gets done with his finals and we're going to go over to the game convention, I might actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually, I'll probably stream Thursday morning because Thursday morning, I'm not going to the game convention until my son gets here and he's not going to get here until the afternoon. So I guess Thursday morning, I actually will be streaming. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, we got cloth in here. Oh, yeah. That's what that's what I came here for. Okay. We got those. We got uh, 96 ptarmigan down. Okay. All right. So, let's get our deerskin pants repaired up. Cuz yeah, those those have been those have been suffering forever. Let's get our bedroll repaired up cuz it's down to 70%. Oh. Uh. Uh, well, Victorian, we're not done mapping. We we finished we finished up in Ash Canyon. We want to go to Timberwolf Mountain, but I had some rather bad things happen to my clothing that I needed to take care of. So we came back here to um we came back here to Pleasant Valley to sort of recoup and and get better. Okay, so even though it says I have point two, I don't have point two. 
So I have to get I have to take that one. So these ones here lie. Oh, actually, I would have point two with all those. Okay, so now now it's saying I have enough. Okay, so I, I'm gonna carry all three of those with me. I'm gonna take that with me. I'm gonna drop those. <laughs> well, we're heading to Black Rock, Victorian. We're heading to Black Rock. What's in here? I think I think these have yeah, these have birch bark teas in them, right? Yeah, those have 16 birch bark teas. I believe I have, I have another flask. Yeah, I have another flask that has six birch bark tea. Um, I think I'll I think I'll keep that. We've got a thing of broth here. I'm gonna take that with me. Um, the pry bar I'm leaving here. Let's see, is there anything else I want in here? I've got cattails in here. Let's take some cattails with us, just to have them. There we go. I've got a lot of flares. Actually, we're going to Black Rock, so I think I'm going to grab some flares with me because Black Rock can be very tetchy this time of year. Um, let's go ahead and grab a couple pieces of metal with us. Oh, we have lots of uh, lots of matches here too. How are we doing on matches? Uh, we're doing okay on matches. Yeah. I, oh, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be fun for the viewers when I go to Black Rock. Yeah, that's 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 for sure. <laughs> that, that's for sure. I am going to grab one more deer hide. That gives me two deer hides. I'm going to grab uh, another gut. Do I have any leather? I have no leather on me. Let's grab a couple pieces of leather. I got 23 cloth. We're going to we're gonna fix up our clothing while we're here. Let's go downstairs and see what we got down there. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Black Rock is going to be interesting. We're, we're going to be hitting that tomorrow, so what do we got in here? We got 20 arrow shafts, 202 air, uh, feathers. Do I have any arrowheads on me right now? I don't think I do, no. Okay, that's there. What do we have in here? 33 birch. Wow, okay, we got 33 birch. The Ides, oh, I started playing the new Civ 6 challenge, the Ides of March, it was fun. Wish I had the mod that tells you uh, what you get for the policies. I need to look that up next time. Uh, Faith, I have all those mods listed on my on my Civilization Six videos. Um, let me see if I can pull up what one it is for you right now. There's I, it's actually two mods together that that give you the that give you that that give you that overview. Um, it's two of the mod. There's two mods together that give you that. Um, one of them is the better report screen mod, which is this one right here. That that's one of the mods there, and then the other one is the um, lenses. No gold resources. Faster starting. I can't wait. I can't remember which is the other one. I know that's one of the mods there that you need to have. The better report screen mod. Um, I would look through the other mods that I have. I have all the mods that I use listed on my YouTube videos in the description. So you can go check them out there and kind of go through go through those and see which ones you want to use. I forget what the... I think it was like two mods you had to get, have together. But I know that the better report screen mod is, is one that you definitely need to have to get that to get that going on. And that helps a lot. Helps a lot. Okay, good luck wrapping up the stream. I'm going. I'm going to the beginning. Excited to see what happened there. Uh, cheers. All right. Take care. We'll see you later, Victorian. Have a great rest of your. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see. You, see you later on. Okay. All right. So we got the sure-footed bonus. Let's go ahead and repair up our clothing since we're here and we have we have the stuff we need. Let's get repaired up. We got lots of cloth here. We'll repair up all of our clothing. It's below ninety percent. Then we're gonna head back to Timberwolf, head into Black Rock. I actually like I actually like going to Black Rock via the Timberwolf entrance because that puts you very close to the Bricklayers Retreat, which is really nice to go to because sometimes you can get the moose there, which is super awesome. Thumbs up. Um, 
And then it also allows you to go down into the canyon and go for the, uh, go for the, uh, the note that you need to get to get into the Black Rock Prison, uh, uh machine shop. What if the moose gets you, though? I won't, uh, the moose won't get me. We'll, we'll, we'll avoid Mr. Moose. We'll avoid him, Underhill. No moose will keep me down. I pity the moose. I pity the moose who tries to keep me down. I'll repair that up as well. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to swap that in. We got a 31 degree warmth bonus now with all of our clothing, which is the max I can get with what I'm wearing. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and eat a pinnacle peaches because that'll give us some vitamin C. Yum, yum. And also gets us some food. And then let's go ahead and just take the tomato soup. Leave those here. How much cloth do I have now? Fifteen. Let's grab another ten cloth because we're gonna we're gonna we're probably gonna use a bunch of cloth up in the in the uh, huh, whatever that zone is. Black Rock. <laughs> I, I I just want to wipe it from my memory that we're going to Black Rock. All right. So we got the guts. We got the hides. I've got. Some of that, I'm going to grab two more of those just so I have ten on me. Got a couple pieces of metal to repair up my hacksaw. All right, I think we're ready to go. What happens when the world runs out of peaches? You got millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Hey, Jack Pistachio, how you doing? Um, Yeah, let's just go. You got millions of peaches. Peaches for me. But Jack, hope you're having a good day, my friend. You're kind of even on the tail end of the long dark uh, section of our gameplay today. Uh, but we uh, finished up Ash Canyon, which is great news. You can go back and watch the, re the earlier parts of the video. The We've finished up Ash Canyon, and now we're heading back up into Timberwolf Mountain. We came down here to get a couple of our deer hides, get our clothing repaired, kind of get fully going fully, you know, kitted out so that we can go up into Timberwolf Mountain and then over to Black Rock and have everything we want to have. Um, actually, did I equip my crappy bow? No, I did not. Okay, let's equip the crappy bow. Doing better, got over the flu. Oh, that's awesome, Jack. I'm happy for you. Thank you, uh, Tudor23, for the follow there on the Twitch side. I appreciate that very much. But yeah, in about, about 10 minutes or so, we're going to be actually switching over I'm playing some more of one of my favorite survival games ever, Subnautica. Um, a game that is amazing, awesome, and, and just evokes so many good memories and so many, you know, terrifying memories as well. <laughs> Timberwolf Mountain is my end game zone. Oh, nice. Yeah, Timberwolf Mountain's a great little place. I like it. I highly, highly, highly uh, uh, um, recommend going to Timberwolf Mountain. It's, it's, it's a great place to go to and just hang out. It's got lots of bears. Got lots of wolves. Got lots of deer. Got a couple moose. You got little caves you can ditch in and out of. Things to do. Places to go people to see. You know, that sort of stuff. You love both Long Dark and Subnautica. Well, that is awesome, Jack, uh, Jack Pistachio. Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, stopping the stream on the YouTube side for about three or four minutes while I go and take a, a potty break between games. Um, we'll be stopping it real quick. I'm going to go grab a snack and a drink, but then we'll be starting back up very quickly and getting it going. And we'll be playing like three, three to four hours of Subnautica this afternoon. Because uh, I, 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 Subnautica, I play it every year. Um, I, I've been playing it once a year for like the last three or four years. I think it's the fourth year. Uh, because once I start, once I played it, I was like, this game is just great. It's got so much good stuff in it too. So much great content in, in that game. So many fun things you can do. It, it's a good... It, that, that game is a great balance between 
survival, exploration, building, crafting, um, and just having like an open world feel. Just having that open world feel to it. Because you don't have to do anything in it. You can just you can just survive in that game and build massive bases and build all you know and go exploring and just have fun if you want to. You can follow the story if you want. The sort of loose story that it has. You can follow that if you want to, but you don't have to. And that's the thing I love about it. Is there's nothing telling you have to do something. It gently nudges you on the way, but it doesn't force it down your throat. A lot like survival in the long dark. You don't have to do the signal void or the buried echoes quests. They're there. They're there is an option for you to do something late game, but there's nothing telling you 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 know you're gonna lose out if you don't do these. Or basically pushing you down the path to do them. Which is which is fantastic. So we got the Burned Ridge Cave here. I forget if I I forget if I have anything at the Burned Ridge Cave other than maybe some water. Maybe I have a little food or something. I don't know. Yep, I left myself a bottle of water. Look at look at me leaving bottles of water here for myself. Yay. Quote of freedom of choice. I'm pooping stuff out of my butt that I didn't want to. Yeah, both game. Well, Subna yeah, Subnautica soundtrack. That, damn, Subnautica soundtrack just hits so hard on so many levels. It really, truly does. So much of that, so much of that game, the 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 uh, the, uh, the 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 tension and the hype comes when they when that soundtrack kicks in. Hello, plane crash. How are you? Yeah, I think there's a bug with bears in Pleasant Valley right now. I only have one bear that I've seen in this entire zone, and that's the one over by the birch forest. There's usually there's five bear spawns in this zone, and I've only seen a bear at one of them the entire time I've been here. So I don't know if the bears are broken right now or what the deal is, but it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, a little bit weird, a little weird, but hey, you know what are you gonna do? I know you're hungry, buddy, but we're gonna get back to our. We're gonna get back over here, and then you then you can have some food, okay? Once you get back over here to the uh, to the preppers uh, hatch, you can have some fids. Although I do want to chop down a limb here, but since we since we have warm temperatures right now, it's like why not? You notice that too? It's very weird. Yeah, it's very weird. It's very, very weird. The bears should throw sharks. Or they should the bears should have freaking lasers on their heads. Is that too much to ask for? Is for my bears to have freaking lasers? Imagine if the bears had guns and they could shoot back. That would add a whole new element to the game, wouldn't it now? You'd be like, I'm gonna sneak up on this bear and, and shoot him. Wait, what's that glint? Does that bear have a scope on his gun? Oh crap. <laughs> that bear's gonna snipe me out. Son of a biscuit. Werewolves fighting vampires with rocket launchers. Now that, now that is just crazy, Zylock. Come on. Come on, that's, that's, that's a little over the top, man. Come on. You gotta bring it back down to reality, bro. Even I, even I know that's a little nuts. Crazy good. It's crazy like a fox. 
All right, let's get our bedroll flashlight here. There we go. I just need an empty cabinet so I can throw my... Where's my tool kit? So I can throw that tool kit in there, the can in there. Excellent. There's a bottle of water. There we go. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. No, you don't. We're just gonna put put that down there. We're gonna sleep for some time. But what if there were also sharks with lasers and they can fly around and it's like it could you know, hey. So unrealistic. How are werewolves going to operate rocket launchers? Well, that is true. You know, they aren't exactly known for their opposable thumbs. Are they? I don't think they I don't think they are. Okay. We got some wood here. Let's uh, let's throw down a little more. Let's throw a little more wood down here. There we go. Let's throw this tinder plug in here because I definitely do not need that. Let's eat up this uh, this broth. Drink that little bit of water there. They could have two rocket launchers. Werewolves have have hands though. Well, you know, some werewolves do. Now, now if you're talking Twilight werewolves, they don't. See, it, it, you know, it all depends. It all depends on what werewolves you're discussing at the time. I'm gonna take that toolkit with me because I don't think we have one up in Timberwolf, and I want to repair my hacksaw when we're up there. Okay, so we got everything else we need on us. I'm gonna leave the wood here. All right, let's go. Oh, we're talking Underworld. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, in Underworld they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's their name in Underworld? Oh, boy. Good golly. Good golly, Miss Molly. Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. What is that? Kate Beckinsale? Maybe? I'm not sure. I forget who that was. My brain my brain don't work so good anymore. Hey Silver Aku, how you doing? It was Kate Beckinsale in that, okay. Yeah, that was that was a that was a good role for her. Now the the other underworlds got a little. The first one was actually pretty entertaining. The other ones just kind of got you know it's sequel stuff. Bears are about. Hey, Wolfish one. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I hope you and Anora are doing well, my man. It's good to see you. Hope things are going good for both of you. Bears are about to attack me. Yes, they probably are. They probably are. They're always about to attack me. I haven't seen her in a bit. She's taking care of her mom. Oh, man. Well, I, I, I hope she's doing well. Should be back in a day or so. Well, I, I, I've, I've thought about both you and her a lot here lately, so... Um, I, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear other than, you know, having to take care of her mom, things are okay on your front, so. Then I can eat real food again. <laughs> yes, isn't that the way it goes, Wolfish? Then you can eat some real food again. Those bears are always on the lookout for Athena, and yes. It was a good role for those movies to be involved with her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Th those movies benefited from having her in them under Underhill a lot. She misses you. She didn't say she misses me. Miss me, but she said she missed being in chat. Where I see, I see where I rate. <laughs> yep, 
Well, you know, you know, Wolfish. A lot, a lot of times, I feel the same way with certain things. So, I, I always feel, I, I always feel like I rate pretty low in a lot of things. So, don't, 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 uh, don't feel bad about it. I know how much she, I know how much she loves you. So, we need to find some place she's still with you, brother, and that's all that matters. Let's grab some more sticks here, too, while we go. Tell her I'm a poor replacement for her welcoming presence in chat. Yes. That is, that is, that is true, Faith. <laughs> now, Silver Coo's like, now I'm starting to miss her. Everybody stop. See, everybody in chat misses her, too, Wolfish. Damn. Freezing. It's not just a one-way street, so... We all miss her, too. Thank you, Triple Wood, for the posture check there. I have to run and finish setting up stuff, but I want to say hi. Take care, Athena, on your great stream. Wolfish, take care, my friend. I hope you have a good rest of your day, buddy. Tell Lenora we're all thinking of her. We're hoping everything's everything, all the best for her. So can't wait to see her again in chat. So it will be lovely. All right. Well, we're going to get back to the Mountaineer's Hut here. We've got stuff and a couple stuff and things to do still when we get back to the Mountaineer's Hut. But our next goal is we're going to be heading out of here and heading over to Black Rock. So that should be fun. Black Rock's like my favorite zone in the world, don't you know? Don't you? All right, let's grab the hacksaw. We're going to uh, repair our hacksaw. There we go. Get our couple arrowheads out of here. A couple arrow shafts. Otherwise, we're good. Make our arrow shafts. Now, Black Rock, I am going to need some tip-ups. So we're going to we're gonna make a tip-up here. We'll find more metal in Black Rock, but I'm going to make a tip-up right now that we can take with us. We are going to take a few more arrow shafts with us. Actually, we'll just take all those. And we'll take all the feathers with us, too. I'm going to take that Black Bear hide as well. Take our acorns. We're going to take a, a bunch of... Uh, Bunch of mapping stuff with us. We'll take that rabbit hide with us. Take those with us. Take that with us. We're definitely gonna take the travoy and that. Take a couple of those. How many? Uh, got ten. Let's take five more just in case. Let's take our rose hips with us. We've got that. Let's take uh, two more guts with us. That puts us at fifty-four. So we're actually we're actually good on weight right now. Um, I would take 25 cattails. Actually, you know what? I won't need all the cattails because I'm going to be picking up more cattails there. So I'm just going to take 10 with me because there's a bunch of cattails in that zone. Oh, wow. I have a whole bunch of teas on me, don't I? I did not realize that I did not realize I had so many teas. We'll leave the, uh, we'll leave the toolkit here. We definitely want to take our prepper spy with us. And we want to take the pry bar with us. And I think I'm going to take the heavy hammer with me. That puts us a bit overweight, but that's okie dokie. Everything's going to be all right. I'm going to drink down some of our teas. I've made a lot of teas, and we haven't really, uh, haven't really done much with these lately. So we're going to drink those down instead of in lieu of water. And, um... I barely walk with this much gear. All right. Those are all big teas still. Excellent. Now, rose hip teas, we have a full thing of. So we don't we don't need any more rose hip teas. So we can drink down those rose hip teas if we want to. What kind of fuel do I have on me? Eight sticks in that. I do need to make up the prepare the birch bark up. There we go. 
And then I don't think... Let's see, how many mushrooms do I have on me? I got three, so I'll need one more mushroom, which we'll get there. I want to take the bear hide, the rabbit hide, the deer hide, the guts to repair those. Let's grab one more gut. There we go. Um, I think I will leave a little bit of cloth here. Because we did re we did repair up our stuff already. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna I'm just gonna take like ten cloth with me. I don't need I don't think I need thirty. I'm just gonna take twenty with me. I think that'll be good enough to get going. I do want all the flares with me because we're gonna need those. The heavy hammer I want with me, the pry bar. Um, I'm gonna leave one of these torches here because we don't need both. Uh, the food stuff, I want to take all that with me. The clothing, of course. The medicines, of course. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. So I think I think we are good to go. All we need to do is go out here and grab our pies. We just need to eat our pie. Because we're at 53 right now. And we are gonna we are going to use the fish here as well. Get full up on fishy boys. We'll get an hour's sleep, and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna head out to uh, head out to uh, Blackrock, boys and girls. We're gonna head out to Blackrock. All we have to do is travel from here up the up the uh, river. We're gonna cut over here and around this mountain. There's a mountain right here that we have to cut around. We're gonna go. We're gonna go up by the engine in this cave, cross the river here, and there's the entrance to Blackrock. So we got a very short little little stretch to go to Blackrock, but we're gonna do that tomorrow during our long dark session so uh yeah we uh we're doing great we are now on day 477 boys and girls and we've explored 100 of the world according to the game according to the game we've got 100 percent done um but that's exciting uh right now though we are going to be uh switching up games we're going to be playing subnautica I'm going to be pausing the YouTube side while we switch over because I'm going to go take a potty break real quick. I'm going to also go grab a snack and a drink real quick so I'm not starving myself. Uh, but we'll be back very soon on the YouTube side. So thank you all, YouTubers. Uh, if you're interested in Subnautica, three or four minutes, and we'll be back with that. I will be back with the Subnautica. So thank you all on YouTube, and I'll see you later on. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for all the other stuff we have going on in Maybe even become a member down below. Hit that join button. Become a member. Thank you very much and bye. All right.